Roll for Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the linchpin that's keeping everything together in the group. Laysath, the Divine, and the Sensible. And I still owe him my life, so I would have to end yours. It would be a mess. Shadow, the edgy initiate. I trust him with my life. I don't know if I trust him with, you know, my bank account or my car or something like that. Misty Charlotte Paladino, spell slinger and trench coat enthusiast. But I haven't set anything on fire that I haven't meant to set on fire. Silas Lancaster, elderly vampire. There's only one Philbert. They broke the mold when they made Philbert. And Dragon Bait as the Creeper Keeper. Silas, get back in your room! Roll for Weird on Twitch, streaming monthly. New podcast episodes every other Friday. Available on Apple or wherever you find your podcasts. Ah, so nice of you to stop by. Come in, come in. I'm Silas Lancaster, and this is my library. Within these tomes, you will find tales of monsters, both figurative and literal. Tales to make the strongest of us blanch in fear. Such stories are dangerous, and consumption must be strictly rationed. As such, I shall share but one story from my library each Thursday in October each year. Be sure to tune your wireless receiver to Storytime with Silas. Alternatively, subscribe on those podcast providers the youth seem so fond of. Campaign 2 of Halfway to Heroes. Darker, grittier, and much more dignified than Campaign 1. We see the Forever Storm, a 50-mile-wide storm centered on the Severed Key. Though dangerous, it is vital to the survival of nearly every being in this slice of pizzazz. <laughs> this source of energy is... <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> you motherfuckers <laughs> named it. I forgot the name. Pizzazz or bizazz? <laughs> bizazz. <laughs> it sounded like he said pizzazz. It's supposed to be bizazz or whatever. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? I fucking knew that was going to happen. I forgot all about it, dude. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But either way, join us every other Tuesday wherever you get your podcasts as we start a brand new story featuring four monsters that have put aside their differences if they're to stop the armies of men once and for all. Do you like Dungeons and Dragons lore? Do you like drunk history? Well, then Lore and Poor is the show for you where we combine the two. I'm Adam DeWeese and I'm the host and I bring on a cast of rotating guests and we hang out before the show, have a few drinks, And then they are given their topic 30 minutes prior to pressing the record button where they study up on the topic. And then we hit record and whatever they say goes, they are treated as if they are the leading experts in the field. And I ask the questions that you never thought you needed to ask, such as how do mind players go to the bathroom? Yeah, they just go one one time and it's pee and poop and it's green. What's the most dangerous creature in the astral plane? It just pinch it. Yeah. And that whale is like, you know, they got pinchers. Oh, <laughs> you, you they know about pinchers. pinchers. Find the answers to all these questions and much, much more, whether they're accurate or not, on Lauren Poor. You can find Lauren Poor on the Majesticus Network and wherever you download your podcast every other Monday right now. Space. The final front. Mayday alert. We are under attack. Oh, blarney. I kind of got to watch the tube for 10 seconds. Rerouting auxiliary power to abjuration shields. Someone get on those cannons. We've got company. Are you looking for a Dungeons and Dragons sci-fi fantasy space adventure? Then what you are looking for is Eclipse. Join our crew every other week as we struggle to keep the galaxy safe. With Dr. Shepard, the Illithid cleric. The base pirates. That was wild. Ava Elkin, the human monk. If we play our cards right, we might not be totally screwed. Lita Nove, the ASMR bard. We should be arriving in Amaron in about two hours. 
Info O Scott, the Warforged Artificer. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and fire the sonic cannon here. Kanan Vargas, the Tiefling Sorcerer. Does anybody else think this is like a super aggressive move? And I'm Jeremy Fair. I will be your Dungeon Master. Eclipse can be found on Spotify, Apple Music, or anywhere you like to get your podcasts. So you've decided to make a new home for yourself in the retirement community of Pennycross. We're very excited to have you join us. Here in Pennycross, you can enjoy some independence in your golden years, spending time with like-minded seniors without worrying about those darn kids on your lawn. We have a wide range of rental properties available and a variety of amenities staffed by locals who are middle-aged. No need to worry about crying babies or teenagers with attitudes serving you at the pub. In addition, there are dozens of clubs, guilds, and activities to keep you feeling young at heart. Join our Lawn Bowling League, the Puzzle Club, or our renowned Knitting Guild. Established by Agnatha Harper nearly 200 years ago, our guild has attracted a wide range of members. We're delighted that you're making Penny Cross your final home. Please ignore the ominous smoke coming from the mountain. It only started a few days ago, and I'm sure it will dissipate shortly. Welcome home, weary traveler. Crits and Nits is a 5e actual play, podcast, and Twitch series, with the live streams and the podcast drops alternating every other Wednesday, starting Wednesday, February 2nd, on the Majestic Goose Network, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Jerundu. And we are the hosts of Majestic Goose's newest podcast, Dice Talk. Dice Talk is a Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop podcast that dives into the deep topics of tabletop role-playing games. Join us as we speak with passionate content creators, podcasters, authors, and more as we discuss all manner of tabletop and geek-related content. Dice Talk is a bi-weekly show, so we're hitting your podcatcher with brand new episodes every other week, filling your ears with exclusive interviews and conversations that you can't find anywhere else. Every episode is a new opportunity to hear from different creators in the tabletop community and just talk about Dungeons and Dragons and any other tabletop games that have made us who we are. Dice Talk, now on the Majestic Goose Podcast Network. Make sure you check us out and subscribe so you never miss an episode. A Majestic Goose Podcast. Hawk! In a world where adventure awaits and danger lurks around every corner, an unlikely group of friends find themselves on the path to becoming heroes. But school will only get them halfway. Merlin, the human warlock barber guy. Oh god, no, I gotta buff his butt! No! Can I refuse business? Ubo, the turtle artificer. Well, it doesn't work yet, but uh, I'm working on it. Altrex, the discarded warforged paladin. I don't eat or sleep or wear clothes, so I just sit in the corner and wait. And Clyde, the Goliath barbarian in skinny jeans. They're called skinny pelts, okay? Find us on iTunes or wherever you download your podcast by searching for Halfway to Heroes. From the city that brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sluggers and Muhammad Ali comes Roll for Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the linchpin that's keeping everything together in the group. Laysath, the Divine, and the Sensible. And I still owe him my life, so... I would have to end yours. It would be a mess. Shadow, the edgy initiate. I trust him with my life. I don't know if I trust him with, you know, my bank account or my car or something like that. Misty Charlotte Paladino, spell slinger and trench coat enthusiast. But I haven't set anything on fire that I haven't meant to set on fire. Silas Lancaster, elderly vampire. There's only one filbert. They broke the mold when they made Silvers. And Dragon Bait as the Creeper Keeper. Silas, get back in your room! Roll for Weird on Twitch. Streaming monthly. New podcast episodes every other Friday. Available on Apple or wherever you find your podcasts.
Ah, so nice of you to stop by. Come in, come in. I'm Silas Lancaster, and this is my library. Within these tomes you will find tales of monsters, both figurative and literal. Tales to make the strongest of us blanch in fear. Such stories are dangerous, and consumption must be strictly rationed. As such, I shall share but one story from my library each Thursday in October each year. Be sure to tune your wireless receiver to Storytime with Silas. Alternatively, subscribe on those podcast providers the youth seem so fond of. Campaign 2 of Halfway to Heroes. Darker, grittier, and much more dignified than Campaign 1. We see the Forever Storm, a 50-mile-wide storm centered on the Severed Key. Though dangerous, it is vital to the survival of nearly every being in this slice of pizzazz. <laughs> this source of energy is... <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> you motherfuckers <laughs> named it. I forgot the name. <laughs> pizzazz or bizarre? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Roll for Weird. It has been a thousand years. <laughs> uh, does anybody remember what happened last time? I have notes. Oh, thank oh, God. Great. That's good. Uh, I will I fill in thought, anything but... that you forget, Danny. All right. <laughs> Old today. Let's see. Oh, excuse me. We <laughs> got a hotel room and oh. dinner and plan to meet for lunch. Uh, Do Shadow you know noticed someone where watching you are? Us. Oh, I have no fucking clue. You guys are in Ni- Niagara Falls. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, we went, right. yeah. We consulted the, yeah. the Maki Almanaki. And we yes, that Niagara was the previous Falls. episode. Yes, the Maki yeah. Almanaki. Yes. Uh, Shadow then, noticed yeah. someone watching us anytime we left our rooms. Uh, mm-hmm. Shadow had seen this person before. Last time he was in Niagara Falls. Tried to take a picture. The person didn't show up in the picture. So we head up the next morning to a place that is large, fancy, it looks like a and b fairly busy in public. Oh, yes, because uh, Charles invited us to this place. Charles, does that sound right? Yeah. No, it's Travis, but Travis. Uh, Travis. you didn't really know that at that time. Okay. Yeah. We thought it was Charles, but it was, mm-hmm. in fact, Travis. All right, mm-hmm. so we get led to this, we go to this address, and uh, we are led to a large room, a banquet-type area filled with people. All eyes are on us. There is a man in his mid-30s sitting and looking out the window with bright yellow eyes. He's dressed in a suit. He offers us drinks, including, an uh, important note, I guess, a Diet Coke for Filbert and blood for Silas. Uh, Misty offers him the necklace. Uh, that would be a minor artifact necklace that Layseth found and gave to Misty last time. Uh, he accepts found, the necklace. found in her in her in her dimension yes. pocket in my big pocket of stuff. Um, it is an illusion creating item. The original necklace protected the children, the child from detection by the divine. And Layseth suggested he create an artifact of protection that might be less damaging to Layseth. He agreed if we can protect her from the divine and some demons. I'm assuming that was the child that we're trying to protect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alexia or Alexand- Alexandria? Alexandria. I think it was yes. Alexandria because it made yeah. me grin every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Misty asks if this gentleman will help us with the spider because it seems like he's not on good terms with the spider. Uh, he is not happy that the necklace was destroyed, but it's better than having it in the wrong hands. Uh, he thinks Filbert looks familiar. Turns out that he knew Jane, Filbert's grandmother, uh, I have a note that says raw cereal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was all about continental breakfasts at the motel. Yeah. Gotcha, raw gotcha. Cereal. <laughs> that is Sorry. cereal without milk, I guess. I yes. have some weird yeah. notes. 100% you said that, Adam. Yeah, yeah, you, yes, you then, called it raw cereal. About it. Well, yeah. We called you out on raw cereal. Like, what do you mean like raw cereal? Ever. Uh, Unmilled grain. Mm. We discuss the problem of the spider. We're asking for assistance, specifically knowledge. Uh, he agrees, but says we have to go somewhere else to meet. He gives us another address. 
and tells us to get those who can help on the phone. I don't remember what that was about. Maybe we're supposed to call so, uh, Samantha. I can take over a little bit here if you would like with some of the details. Sure. Uh, so he said to gather your forces for whatever fight this might be. Um, uh, okay. Anybody that might have some information. Um, w- after everybody left, the spider showed up. Yes. And Misty did some magic and found out that there are people in within um, Travis's um, ranks that are connected to the spider. We also got to meet Tommy, a huge fan of Silas's and has one of his very old books that he wrote about his <clears throat> honeymoon with his Chism wife. Chism of the gods. <laughs> yes. And then um, Misty saw three webs that led out to people. One of them was the host. One of them was Tommy's friend. And then another one in the crowd of people. But then there was a fourth that was broken. And the magic for that fourth one was very familiar to Misty. You guys had encountered it before. It was shadowy. Yes, we made the joke that Shadow is right here. Um, <laughs> Good. I don't want to miss that. Uh, I, I, I don't want to redo jokes. That's just boring. Yeah. Sure. Um, after Layseth banished the spider to Pazuzu's bedroom, um, Silas got a call uh, from Pazuzu, angry, uh, because it was Valid. his anniversary. And... <laughs> And his wife was not happy that this demon just showed up in their in their place. We poofed, we poofed our arch enemy into their marital bed. Yep. Uh... Um, <laughs> uh, Shadow got a text message from Daddyo, and then called him on Filbert's phone. Uh, you could hear things like whizzing past him. As he was running away, uh, he drops the phone, um, tells Filbert to do the 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 video <laughs> call. Somebody else opens the phone, and then Umbra Shadow, yeah, Umbra opens the phone. Shadow decides that the only way that he can solve this is to throw the phone on the ground and then stomp on it. Yes. Well, I didn't so... want to know it was us. Right, right. He saw <laughs> you, so. but also, like, I don't know if he could have because you had the phone like right up against your face because you have a Nokia phone. Yeah. Um. So, uh, we were starting Enhance. this episode. I think. Um. Oh, also, um, you called your parents. Uh, Filbert. Mom's fine. Yeah. Uh, she is fine for now. Kenny um, is fine. What? Kenny, Kenny is also is fine. fine. <laughs> There's some really good things that happened there. Um, and then I think this episode, uh, Ren- or Misty was going to call, um, I think, Samantha. That sounds right. Yeah. And oh, and you awarded your car. Yeah. So that no one could spy on you guys anymore with Sharpie. Yeah. It works, man. Missy's not super thrilled about that, but it's like you know, if we survive, I can get it. I can get it uh, wrapped or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will call Samantha. That's what um, Daddy likes. She answers the phone. Um, hello. Hi. Hi. Is everything okay? Yes, but also it th- things have gotten interesting, and uh, we're gathering forces. Gathering forces in the like gather the row here, and we're riding to, to Gondor kind of way. Okay, where are we gathering, and who am I supposed to grab? What do I need to get? Um. I know that you 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 have mentioned that uh, your your 
corner of the agency deals a lot with this kind of thing. Uh, yes. Anyone that anyone that you can get who uh, is knowledgeable in demons and magic and honestly we need as much firepower as we can get our mitts on because uh we're getting ready to take on the spider you remember that we can't trust them right out of character no <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was a, a um, list from the direct director yeah who had certain people on it some of them were fbi agent uh horace um who else was there the divine was listed as well there are certain people listed out that couldn't be trusted if there's anyone that you trust because you may not be able to trust the whole organization but uh, you've you've worked in this for a while i have yes um is there anyone that you would call on if you needed them there's a pause that's not us because... no <laughs> uh obviously I don't know. No, if don't I call it us. You. We're, we're horrible. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I would have called on you in the first place, but valid, uh, um, completely respectable decision. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Let me call Ashford. Let me see if he has anybody. Oops. All right. Uh, and she kind of all. You hear her pause, and like she's not talking into the phone, but she's talking off to the side. And you hear her go, how do you feel about going to Niagara Falls? To Agent Manal, who's, I'm hoping, still with her. Oh, we must, we must. Looks like a fight. We're going to make some calls. We'll see how fast we can get there. Um, hopefully we can catch something that isn't a car. Yeah, that would be um, helpful. Uh, and any equipment that you can bring with you. Sure. We have some we have some magical firepower. I'd like more if we can get it. And of course, terrestrial firepower is always helpful. We'll see what we can do. Um I think there's a safe house around here somewhere that holds a bunch of random bullshit. Um, that sounds right. The bullshit warehouse. <laughs> the the bullshit warehouse, yes. No, in another system there's a green box. Do you Do we need to bring the other vampire? <laughs> Penny. Um, probably as long as we keep him away from Filbert. I'll see what I can I do. Thought, I think I I told Kenny to uh, look Kenny. after Filbert's parents. You did. I think. You did. D d do I know that? Because you were I, you were you heard him talk to okay to Kenny. There was a lot him. of legitimately yeah, has been six months it's since been the last so time long. we played. Yeah. I don't I remember watched, what I know. There, I there was the a lot earlier today. So, Thank yeah, God, I did too. Did. There was a um, <laughs> there had been a lot of yelling between Silas and Kenny, yeah. um, that ended with it is always about the skin thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do you have thing. that quote? It will always thing, be about right. the thing with the flesh. Beautiful. Say, yeah. uh, so I'll, I want to retcon call that a little bit. Um, sure. No, the, the other the other vampire has a has a job that he's doing. Ah, okay. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll get there as soon as we can. I'll keep you posted. Um, Appreciate it. Text me if something happens. Will do. Okie dokie. All right. Thank you. And I'll hang up and head that back to the woman. others that poor woman are we already at niagara falls yes yeah yes okay and um when do we think this is all going down you don't know what you were told was to call your people and join them at the address that travis gave you I think Travis some... gave you a phone number as well because you did talk to him after the scrying was happening. Okay. Yeah, I'll do some I... mental math real quick of how long of a drive it is from Kentucky to Niagara <sighs> Falls. I think it's roughly six, seven hours probably. You mean you didn't Google it? I think we did six months ago, I'm but I don't remember. I'm, did, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure we did Google it back then. Uh, I'm not remembering. I mean, it was a moment. day trip. It was a day trip? Like a, a day drive. We could... All right. Do you all think... Um, like, do you all think we've got a day 
a day to wait if I wanted to like call someone up to drive up from Louisville and meet us up here or do we think we don't have enough time for that I don't I don't want him using like all the gas or anything if things are gonna pop up before he even gets here it's an eight-hour drive I mean what are we gonna do in the meantime I guess we gotta wait for Samantha and whoever she brings well I mean like while we're waiting Oh, I'm sure. You know there's probably like an escape room or something. We could, we could <laughs> I was just about the, to say it, the same thing. We could go hit up that other restaurant um, with the little girl that, you know, a couple of months back. Nah, I, gosh, I don't even remember when that was, but that place was pretty good. Cannot what are you talking about? Me, I don't Michael's know. Michael's at night. Michael's that was the at place night. You were talking yeah, about. that yes. place. Yes, the, yeah. the Italian food, wasn't it? The local yeah. place. The local I think place. they had Italian Not and a bunch of random stuff, too. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll call. Let me just real quick hold on i'll just dial up harry real quick he's got some, <laughs> some your muscle. phone is broken it has been smashed by shadow shadow i need your nokia oh shoot does anybody memorize harry's phone number or happen to have harry's phone number in their phone um you know i i do have that what i need when i need it and yet, <laughs> i have a piece of paper with harry's the number in or, 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 or even or even better card. or even better like an address book where you keep those kinds oh, of business yeah. cards totally. i can see lay seth being that level of organized the that best sounds about right use of you that that, do you? <laughs> no i just do it i just okay See okay. all of you and your so-called smartphones it's dumbing you down is what it's doing. <laughs> if you weren't so rely relying on it all the time, you'd probably know the number. Well, I do know it now, thanks to Layseth here. Um, Layseth, can I borrow your phone? Layseth, do you have a phone? I. You do. Don't. It's yes. Yes, you okay. do. yes. It is also a dumb phone. It's we've, an LG chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we've talked. Right. We've talked about it. Yeah. Okay. I'll. Uh, can I? You mind if I use your phone to call Harry real quick? Certainly. Yes. All right. I'll, and can I also use your address book to look of up Harry? <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm gonna try to ring up Harry. DB. Okay. Ah. Uh. It answers. Uh, you get it answered. Uh, Harry is not your lawyer, <laughs> but he is your lawyer. Uh, who, who is just... this? Hey, hey, Harry. Oh my God. Hey. Tobert? Yeah. Um, look, you got like, do you have, ga do you have, you've got transportation at the moment, right? I know sometimes your bike is I got in these the big old feet. I mean, other you're gonna need something fat. I don't think we can. We got th long story short. I'm gonna need your muscle. Um, to, by like, so, like as soon as you can get up to Niagara Falls, can you make it? Here's your bike working. Uh, yeah, my my bike works. What? Why am I going to Niagara Falls? <laughs> because that's not normally my stomping grounds i don't know if you know this but i'm not often seen in niagara falls oh well no we're, no 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 no. it's not one of the like we're not like doing any sightings or anything like that we're, we're you're gonna have to like pop on a hoodie and some jeans and a, a baseball cap or something but we're like i'm your only client right and i'm probably gonna be your only client you ever can get to just because just because we both know it's not a real license we both know that that's i printed it so for, hard on I, the bar exam I know, I, why I, are you why listen, are you saying hey, listen, this Harry, to Harry, me I'm, you I'm, hear I'm, him listen, like Harry, crying. i'm sorry i listen i'm not trying to nag you or anything i'm just trying to raise the stakes and let you know that if i die you're probably going to be out of a job so that being said, it should be one of your top priorities to keep me alive, right, Harry? I uh, wow. I, uh, I don't know now. You're kind of you're kind of being mean, no, man. What no, the no, hell? no, no, Harry. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're still working on getting it a little more legitimate, right? And then once we get there, you're gonna be the best lawyer in the damn U.S., like uh, hands down. But we still need to get. We still got a little bit more paperwork to do and stuff like that, right? I don't have much time. I'm probably going to be dead in like the next 12 hours unless what? I got what? some 
muscle what? to help us. We, we're fighting the spot. We, I, we talked about the you spider. Me, you know how on. we wanted to. Do you want me to drive to Niagara Falls, which is going to definitely cut that 12 hours down to four? Yeah, I think that math checks out. <laughs> yes, there's not going to be a big window. That's why I was asking you if your motorbike's working right now or if it's in the shop again. Cause... No, my, my motorbike is fine. It, I okay. have it. It's been all tuned up. And look, I'll go ahead and I'll I'll pay, like, your retainer for the year. We'll, like, just, it, like, I'll pay it so, like, and I'm cover your gas and everything. I just, we really are in a bad spot at the moment and kind of need all hands on deck. And honestly, Harry, you were the only person I could think to call at this time. Okay, fine. I'll be there. What wait, what am I agreeing to? Hold on. <laughs> it's just that there, there might there might be like a like a fight. I well, I don't know yet. I'm guessing it's not just going to be one dude. Uh but um Silver, I'm not a fighter. Yeah, but you can like just you can intimidation fact. You're very strong, Harry. You can fight if you want to fight. I'm sure. If you see someone slug me across the face, you're gonna get angry. You you'll hit them back. I know it. You can I, just stand I'll behind be, be, all I'll of us. I'll be us, there in look, look, eight hours. Okay, look, we got a lot of magic people here coming with us. Honestly, we're probably you and I are just gonna stand behind them and like look scary and do the numbers and. So we probably won't even have to break a sweat, to be honest, Harry. Do, do you want me to call some other people too, then? Wait. I, I, well, I didn't know you had other people, Harry. I thought it was just like a... I thought, like, I was your world. <laughs> Who are these other people? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like Harry and the like, Oh, my God! Like, like, oh, Harry's your cat. You got other, like, yeah, exactly. You Nothing with? else exists but you. I mean, you cast. haven't been around for, like, months, my dude. It's because I, of Harry the spider that we're trying to kill. As soon as he's dead, I'm back, Harry. Harry has needs, You know, Silver. you called me last time you needed a spider killed. <laughs> Um, I think I handled that pretty well. Why is this a That's Niagara why I'm Falls calling spider? you back. You did so good. All right, I'm sorry. You already said you'll see me in eight hours. I feel like I'm doing more harm than good at this point. I'll see you. I'll pay for gas and everything. I really appreciate it, okay. Harry. Bring your friends. Bring, yeah, bring, do bring oh. those friends that I need to have a talking to. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of sass, Squatch. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Just, just gonna <laughs> say, it, uh, Adam likes to offend mythical creatures. Apparently, skin them and offend them. He's never gonna be a lawyer, Whoa. really, Adam. We've wow. learned that. You'll never be a lawyer oh, like feel Harry. Worse and about it. <laughs> Come work for the world's worst house guests. We'll pay your gas. <laughs> Pay your we'll gas. Come, we'll give you mileage. You come and risk your life for us in a battle against interdimensional here's, demons. Here's $150 for per diem. To this Bigfoot who's Some never fought a day paid. in his life. I like how he's like, I'll be there, and you just keep talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then, and then he asked, wait, what do you want me to do? Like, that's some, that's some, uh, that's some trust right there, man. It's a ride or die, oh. but... Harry's gonna nice. call some very interesting people. Yeah, I'm really curious who's gonna show up. Are you still on the phone or is it over? I think we hung up. No, Harry right. hung the up. The is never he over. Up on me, yeah. he, he had to. He had to call other people. So, like, just to be clear, like, did you call it a motorbike or did he? Because I don't know if I trust people to call motorcycles motorbikes. <laughs> that was sober. So, I just, just I, mean, I heard now, you say it, but I, yeah. you know, I can't hear the phone, so I didn't know if you... No, he said it first, and then it just, in my brain, I said it uh, back. It's and then he said comedy. it a second time after that, so there's three times total that it was said. It was... I've never heard that I either. Do. This I is how you it. find out that Harry works for the spiders, because he uses the word motorbike. I think motorbike is a perfectly cromulent word. It's technically true. I mean, motorcycle is just short for motor bicycle. Yes. But what Motorized if it's just bicycle. like a like at a like 
a motorized bicycle and it's going to take him for fucking ever to get here. I'm it's just not, saying. I've it's seen it. Pitch. It's not. It is It is an actual <laughs> motorcycle. A giant asshole. So a Bigfoot is on a I motorcycle imagine. coming to help us with friends to kill a spider at Niagara Falls. This is the fucking is, raddest t-shirt yes. design I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> No, this is, this is a badass t-shirt. It's a badass episode description that Jeremy just said. We could just copy and paste all that and plop it right into the episode description when the podcast comes out in six years. <laughs> yeah, 2030. It's just getting longer and longer. You're fucking calling me out over here, yeah? No, no, it's not you. It's not you. I'm, I'm no, it way, is me. I'm way behind. Uh, I don't know. Have you met our schedules? I've never been late on Eclipse in my life. Sometimes the 24th century. <laughs> Roll for weird. We'll continue. All right. So... We have a very dedicated fan base <laughs> who has been waiting. With so this episode breath. won't come out till 2030, but we can finish tonight before 2030. So maybe we should move on. <laughs> so uh, you call some people. Uh, Samantha said that she was going to call Ashford. There are going to be a lot of NPCs for me to boys. <laughs> you don't have to. Here's the thing: you 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 can you can stick to to like the big ones, mm -hmm. uh, it, un, unless we specifically call call them out. And otherwise, you can treat them as like groups. T T posing in the corner, um, <laughs> all of them. So uh, you guys, helps, uh, Layseth is not going to try to contact any of the divine because she kind of gets the feeling that. If she bamps out of here, she might not be able to come back. She's just feeling a little paranoid, so. Fair enough. Would you like to try it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so are you guys heading over to see the Mackies? Guess so. Okay. We shall return to the Mackies. So like where Once are again. how close are we to Niagara? Are You're like in it. We're in. Yeah. But on the US side? Yeah. Okay. The lake. But we're like in the city. We're like not at the falls right now. Have no, this conversation. No, no, no. You're in the city. Okay. But do you, do you want to go to the falls? I mean, we're going to have to before we leave. I mean, yeah. kind of. Like we, we we have we have some time, so we should we should uh, tourist it up. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I love you mist. guys so much. I don't know how I have made you think that you have time. I don't know why you all assume that you have time. <laughs> we to have do eight hours. <laughs> it's only half an hour around the around the horseshoe falls of Made of the Mist. It'll be fine. Right. And the escape <laughs> room's like an hour at most, so that leaves us like. <laughs> Four hours or something. That's hour good. And a half. <laughs> we, got, we can we eat. Go to Chili's for eighteen hours, and then <laughs> everything will be you, fine. Do you stop at Bucky's? No, it's fine. There's not a Bucky's up here. Not yet. Not yet. You're right. <laughs> you know, they're slowly coming up. But... Not until we kill a spider. He's right, the only it's one time to do a it big magic. <laughs> Summon a Bucky's. Niagara Falls. <laughs> the beaver will help you fight the spider. Bucky's Niagara Falls. That would be a money maker. All right, seriously, though, so what are we going to do? I mean, honestly, I think if we could get this fight to happen at the falls, that just gives us something real big to throw someone over. I'm That'd just saying. That would be badass. That would be pretty bad. Like, I don't, I mean, you're like kind of a demon, Silas. If I threw you over Niagara Falls, that would suck, right? It, it wouldn't be nice to know. So uh, maybe we can have like a... Sherlock Holmes, actually. How about we get like a Pope or something? have them probably not the pope let's get someone religious bless the falls <laughs> now it's all holy water throw that bitch over the side into the falls dead demon we win would that work silas once again you're like kind of a demon or are you I just mean, straight up a demon how does that work i don't really know what i am i think i don't vampires fall under a, a degree of classifications i think i'm a uh, I'm, I'm sort of demon spawn, I think. I don't think I'm a full-fledged demon. I'm merely a tainted human being. Okay, well, this is my first time interviewing a vampire. I usually kill them, so I don't... <laughs> I don't normally ask these kind of questions. But I figured since we have so much extra time, this is... Well, I mean, we can, we can see if we can round up some priests. <laughs> 
An old Let's... priest and a young priest? I like how it's like, get a pope. Let's just get a pope. D <laughs> any pope. Any pope will do. Any pope will do. Retire. Russian fine. Orthodox pope. That'll be fine. Oh. Patriarch Alexei or oh, whatever. didn't I tell you? The pope is vacationing in my <laughs> Niagara Falls right now. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, apparently for some something... reason, chose the U.S. side. <laughs> yeah, not the Canadian side. He was like, you know what? Not the good side. So it's so much better on the U.S. I mean, with, with how with how uh, uh, unpopular the Catholic Church is at the moment with the residential schools, I'd want to be on the. I'd prefer to be on the U.S. side personally if I were the Pope. I'm the Pope. Hey, it's me. I'm the Pope. You want me to bless the falls? <laughs> Did oh your God. other role for weird character turn into the Pope? Oh, oh I Pope. want that story. I want that hey, side story me, more than Pope. anything else right now. Side stories, Silas becomes the Pope. <laughs> it, oh. just, it was surprisingly easy. I just did an awful accent, and they just let me walk straight into the Vatican. Can I bless the falls? I don't know. Can you bless the fall? I don't that know. might be quite useful. <laughs> it could be. I now have oh. Africa playing in my head on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you? I feel like you've told us you're not an angel multiple times. Right. No, I'm divine. There's a difference. But divine things can still be holy. If you want to try and bless all of the falls, it's going to take some time. So now right. look, the yes. thing is... We do have eight hours. But the, but <laughs> but where, like, how does it work when you bless water? Because like, if you bless like this water right here, it's just gonna that water now has went over mm -hmm. the, and now it's well, down the, in the cool, ocean. See, the cool thing about magic, Filbert, is it's all in your perception. So you're not blessing that water; it's all the water. We're you're blessing, blessing it all at once. Specific. Okay. Yeah. All right. That might you're, work. You're, 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 you're blessing, bless you're blessing the, the entity. You're blessing the entity that falls. You got me right back on board. Let's do it. Let's bless right. it. You need me to like. I don't know what I would need. I don't oh, know what you would my need. My God. I I'm fairly certain you don't need a vampire falls. involved in blessing things. Le uh, Seth, is there anything that I can assist with if it's a ritual type of thing? I'm sure there will be something. I will think on it, but perhaps we should go visit that Travis fellow in the meantime. You know, do something productive with our eight hours. Danny, you're every bit as bad as Adam, Jeremy, and Jerundu. You're just <laughs> sneaky about it. <laughs> Jerundu's done so, nothing but trying so to fall asleep. So innocent over here. What is me? <laughs> what could I have possibly done? Talk to the guy. Let's go talk to the guy. Let's go talk to the guy. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe we'll come back and bless the balls. One song. It's gonna take a head. lot to take me away from you. <laughs> so, uh, as you're going, um, I think we said that Layseth was gonna drive. Do you still want that to be the thing, or does Misty want to uh, drive? I, we've been. We've been Lace up has been driving. Yeah, we've been teaching and working on it. Yeah. Do you got uh sure. does Lace Seth have license yet? Temps? Learning permit? No. She doesn't have <laughs> None. US None. government anything. Like nothing. Not since the nineteen fifties. That's all right. If we get pulled over, Silas can just glamour them and Exactly. Have them just exactly. I don't need a license. Fine. I have a vampire. I mean, <laughs> doesn't even have to have to glamour. Have he could just title. mind control. I try not to do that, though. It is rather invasive and horrible. Do but... you? Do you try not to do that? Yeah, well, at least to, like, unless it's really, really necessary. Or funny. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh... So you guys start driving over to the address. Um, it's a big <laughs> warehouse kind of place. Layseth, it is very familiar to you. Oh. Also, you, Silas, you've been here? Yep. Have I been here? When was yeah. I here? It would have been where Jane worked. Oh! oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm quite familiar with this location. Yep. <laughs> it's changed somewhat. It's yeah, it's not dingy. the 1950s. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you see that there 70 are... 70 years later. Shut nothing up. Nothing has changed. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I, a bunch love, of I love, I love that very like petulant. Shut up. <laughs> uh, you see that there is a um, there are a bunch of cars outside. Uh, you see uh, Travis's car as well. Um, I want to remind you that you do know there are people in the building that uh, are connected to the spider. How do we know that? Is there like a, a visible spider web? Uh, there was. So when the when the spider was in the like banquet hall of that like um, area that you guys were at, Misty did some magic, magic, and saw webs leading out to three people in the audience. Two of them you would recognize. One of them you might not. And then there was one that was severed. Um, that used to have a connection to the spider. Uh, you know one of them as Tommy's friend and one of them as the host of that led you in. Um, and after you had started to leave, you went to talk to the host and it was a completely different woman standing there and she told you that she was the only host of this place and she had been running late that morning. Thank you for the recap because my brain had completely dumped all of that. That that's why I went back and rewatched it when I wasn't busy mm -hmm. today. At 1.5 speed. That's the only way to get through our nonsense. <laughs> no, it was the only way for me to make sure I finished it before tonight. And that was 2022. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was, it was it was what? February? February. Yeah. February. 2022. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Once upon a time. Only been doing this since 2020, man. People are going to listen to this and be like, they recorded this before the water ran out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. It's it, it's like going back and, and, and watching stuff that, that was set in 2020, but filmed before COVID. Mm -hmm. It's like a 21st century time capsule. <laughs> um, what is a Subaru? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, we should perhaps warn Travis of the uh, his associates that we are familiar with, that we are perhaps concerned about. The yes, yes. <laughs> probably <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh. Do we... don't know. Do we have some kind of? I remember. I remember when we watched that movie, uh, Aliens, with the the little sonar detector thing that went off. Do we have like maybe a magical means of like detecting spider webs, so to speak? I mean, I did it before. I could probably get that back up. Well, it might just Although... help if there's. Although if it's if it's magical sight, uh, that can get real fucky real fast, because or, uh, there's a lot of things that I might not want to see. Or I could, yeah. I could I could glamour us all, maybe. I don't Are you know. gonna turn us back into the Backstreet Boys? Well, I mean that might. <laughs> I saw DB start to realize. <laughs> That one might not work in this situation. No, I, mean, I didn't I, think it would. I'm just going to ask why if you do that. Because well, I like worried throwing about shit too. Spies. Oh, Look, that. now. What do you want our movements? Now Tiana's on too. See, you know what? Tiana was why, just why, talking shit about Why would us. I want to get left behind? <laughs> Jesus when you're the one sane person in a group, it gets it's tiring. Yeah, I don't know. That is a good point, though. Maybe we do need to like get some disguises or glamour or something going. Not not Backstreet Boys this time, probably. No, but... of course not. No, I wasn't even going to suggest that. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, it's all the warehouse, so perhaps like some uniforms or something that makes it look like we belong. Come in, come in the come in the uh, the the servants' entrance, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Although you you have to ask first. <laughs> have we seen what these people like what their uniform looks like? 
Because if we got if we do, then yeah, I think that's what we should do. Just all. Uh, or it it looks I, I, like a warehouse. It's not like an active warehouse, that, guys. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Was, that's why like I was like, have we seen Amazon any other to, warehouse no, deliverers are walking in and out? I get that, but like something less conspicuous than <laughs> Scooby Doo crew that we are. Or <laughs> we could all wear going... suits. We all look fancy and like we belong with them. Do we even know me. where we're? Do we even know where we're going? inside like no <laughs> it might so my suggestion then is uh granddad why don't you uh do some spying oh yeah that's the thing i can do <laughs> the, are you okay. doing the mist or a bat dog yeah, the mist would be my recommendation probably the mist is probably the best yeah yeah although dogs so. go everywhere because everyone loves them i don't know <laughs> i don't know if I'm... <laughs> An extra, a large uh, demonic mastiff might be so welcome. Uh, but no, I think, yes, I'll uh, have a look around the outside. I'll see if there's like. Yeah, so Silas will turn to a mist and sort of float around the building and see if there's any like. Anywhere where there might be people like standing and smoking or something where you can sort of blend in. Sure. So. You leave the car, turn into mist, and start floating around the building a little bit. Um, you get to one side and you see that there is like a big bay door open. And um, some people that you notice that were at the um, at the like uh, banquet hall are standing around. Some of them are smoking, shooting the shit, talking. Uh, some of them talking about like fucking spider really that asshole he's fucking around with all this like what he's such a fucking loser um and just like things like that shit talking um the the that particular demon uh they were all they also kind of go that that group that joined you know the boss they were kind of weird um kind of a weird Bad. gaggle of people but you know, two of them seemed a little familiar. I think I remember seeing them when I was, like, really young. But I think they'd be dead. Well, if we're all supernatural bullshit, that's true. The cloud <laughs> miraculously forms into a, a hand flipping. <laughs> <the bird. laughs> They're not talking that much shit about you. They're just talking about how weird the, the whole situation is. Um... Okay. What, what are they wearing? Gangster outfits. They look like like mobsters. Some of them in older looking suits. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're like enemies from a '90s Ninja Turtles movie. They're just <laughs> nondescript gangsters in a warehouse that Got is not guns. open for business. Talking yeah. shit about demons. <laughs> Talking shit about demons. Yes, as you do. As you do. As one does all right so i'm guessing there's some sort of yeah like you said there's a bay that someone's mm -hmm. like, they're hanging out in so you, so, like... you saw some doors too like there are places that uh -huh. you could like walk up and knock on the door and probably be let in like they know you were, guys are coming because they gave okay. you the address right okay yeah so <laughs> subterfuge is probably not required then these guys <laughs> don't seem like the fucking spider people since they were talking about how fucking weird everything is so yeah like... no they're um, and that fucking spider guy they also don't they don't look like the the woman or tommy's friend tommy's not there either um but not, here, man. not with that group so okay cool uh well yeah let's have uh i guess silas will sort of and try and get into the door just sort of get the lay of the land and have a quick float Wait. around are you gonna uh go through the bay door or we'll go through the bay door and okay. then sort of take a through route to the front door or wherever we were sort sure. of posting up outside sure um so you missed your way through and um there's a lot of large like open areas but there are some like little almost like little offices kind of thing. You see mm -hmm. people 
getting ready with weapons. You see things like um, somebody is like reading a book. Uh, lots of you. You can tell that there is a lot of also magic happening in this uh, building, just with the amount of different types of creatures that are here. Okay. Um, you do see Travis, and he has like a cigarette in his mouth, and he's walking along. Um, it looks like he's checking uh, different areas um, that look inconspicuous. Like, doesn't look like they should be things that he's checking. Um, but you can probably assume maybe those are like escape routes if something were to happen. Okay. Um, but you make your way up. One person accidentally walks through you and was like, what the fuck was that? I just get super high. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the future. <laughs> um, and you make you make it to the door. There are probably 100, 200 people in this building. Absolutely stinks of Bengay in here. What the fuck is that? <laughs> and one of those... Uh, so it's a warehouse not being used and there's 200 people well not for like business it's not like it's a not shipping where <laughs> yeah it's magic all right well i think silas would be satisfied that this isn't a trap and it's all everything's mm -hmm. on the up and up so just float on out under the front door or through the keyhole or whatever and meet back up with the sure the rest of the team so yeah. what'd you find out Cool uh, in there. It's a warehouse full of gangsters and uh, weapons and magic, and everything seems to be fine. Uh, it it doesn't look to be a trap or anything like that. It's still just magic gangsters? That seems kind they're, of dangerous. Well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the Mackie's whole deal, is they're magic gangsters. Like Artemis Fowl. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> So what's the plan? I mean, should we all just go in there? I mean, do we even need to go in there? Like, well, I mean, we said we'd rendezvous here with with we the were invited. Mackies. We can knock on the front door, and it, maybe maybe we don't have to actually walk in if uh, they're okay with meeting us like outside. But I'm guessing not. Mm -hmm. They've probably got like an office they're gonna want us to meet. Yeah, in. there's. A it's a, I mean, it's a warehouse, but there's uh, like breakout areas and offices to, you know, off on along the side of the, uh, the I interior. Hope, I hope they I'm don't sure. make us do icebreakers or anything. Yeah, team like, building activities. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't I'm sure Travis has calls. his own office. He <laughs> seems like the sort that would. But Jack well, Fox. he he seems to be inspecting walls or something. I'm not sure. Checking escape routes. He's rummaging around in the in the crevices of the building. Yeah, as speaking I saw. of escape routes. Uh... We should probably come up with some sort of plan in case this whole thing's, I don't know, not like a trap or something. Should we, Did like, see? plan, a, like, a way to, like, bamf out, maybe? Like, stay close enough to, you know, grab hands and bamf out or something? I can take two of you with me. If uh, perhaps our magic users might be able to take the others. Do I know any teleportation spells, or can I, like, work any out? This is awfully late in the game to learn the new one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think you do. I think it's something that you have always, like, wanted to kind of learn, but it hasn't just happened yet. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, it, it's 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 like trying to build a, a, a transporter in Star Trek. If you get it wrong. Yes. Yes. Um, well. I think it's something that you have not mastered at all, because if you had, so many things would have been like, and now we're out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Worst case, they would become than... evil Kurt. I could, than... yes. I could bamf away with two people and bamf back and then bamf away again. Not be instantaneous for everyone. Hopefully I mean, it I doesn't can go even poof. come down to it, but. I could go I... poof, so you don't need to worry about me necessarily i'm gonna um, hold up my necklace try to see the future okay oh. Tooth say this can go bit. bad can't it yeah um yes. yeah so what's the fun in i that? can I see a future. No, I, I love it i I'm can just... predict the future and uh the, the worst thing that can happen is i get bad information 
like, oh yeah, everything's fine, and then we just die or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll still be fun. Pretty bad It'll still be case. fun, but worst case scenario is it's all wrong. <laughs> So, it's a pretty um, bad case, though. <laughs> like, yeah, DB to, could probably come up with some fun shit for that. I get to uh, roll for weird, so I will do that. Okay. It's the name of the show! They said it! But it's... <laughs> it did the thing. I lost my die. It just disappeared into the void. So the first one, because you roll two every time, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, I rolled a five. I'm going to roll the same right. one again, because I don't know where it went. And... Uh, Oh, another five. That's really good. So 10 plus three. So 13. Holy Dang. shit. I can hold three. Okay. Damn. Uh, which is and, questions, uh, right? Well, I can see what the future holds. Mm -hmm. And I can spend each of my holds on having a useful item ready, being somewhere I'm needed in time, taking one forward, giving one forward to another, or retroactively warning someone about an attack. Uh, or you're the creeper keeper, so you can just decide to do whatever you want i i do love being able to decide whatever <laughs> so i want if you want to like actually <laughs> tell us some future stuff you could do that sure. or i um, can just be like wait i saw this earlier so yeah i got a gun i mean you you don't you usually have a sword you're not sword. you're not the gun boy um <laughs> you really did lose the the dice it's of the void, didn't gone. you it just yeeted somewhere it's probably under your bookshelf or something or under the sofa it's okay i'll just grab another um so you're holding your necklace concentrating on uh finding a future vision trying to figure out what's going to happen if you is it specifically if you enter the building or do, are you just trying to see into a certain amount of time yeah i was trying to see like so like we what we go in here what's going to happen that sure. was my goal like um, what's going to happen we just walk sure. in there and get trapped or shot or you get they throw you us get, a party you get vision you get flashes of visions if okay. you go in you're going to have a conversation with travis mackey you're going to have a plan on how to defeat the spider um there are flashes of people's faces uh one being the host uh one being tommy's friend and then another person that was in the room that you guys didn't really notice he's a big man with a like uh completely bald head uh with deep blue eyes um and huge kind of guy um and then you also see the face of the shadow demon that you guys saved from the church okay and that she is also in the building Okay, so I will uh, tell that to everyone, kind of what I saw. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know. It could be safe. It's. I just want to make sure we don't just go. I mean, like you said, it's a warehouse full of gangsters that could do magic. So I just want to make sure we're not going to go in there and die. As far as I can tell, it seems okay. Uh, Good to know. Misty, you get a text. I will check my phone. Your DoorDash delivery is arrived. <laughs> yeah, uh, I figured out what, what what Travis's favorite food is, and I'm going to sure. bring it in as a peace offering. No. All, it's always Tim Hortons. Yeah, That's where Timbit. My Timbits are <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of lean across the border with the... <laughs> They're here in the U.S. too. <laughs> are they? Yeah, we have them yeah. here in Ohio. The one in the Ohio got shut down. I've like never year. seen them outside of Canada, but I also haven't traveled extensively in the like that's that's northern fair. states how dare you you know uh yeah, see how it is it's okay um, <laughs> my mom so, came from, my mom came from your state i don't need to go back <laughs> <laughs> that's fair uh what was i oh you get a text uh it's from samantha mm. she goes where are we meeting you um we kind of caught a plane gorgeous i will send her the address that we're at okay uh actually, and I, I i i can actually kind of see the shrug through the phone and i'll just be like not going to ask not going to ask also what's right, your netflix password again <laughs> uh so she's on her way uh, you're not sure who all she has with her yeah um 
probably at least Agent Manone and Ashford. Um, Mr. Spock, The Rock, Doc Ock, and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> 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 For the ultimate showdown. Uh, Philbert. Yep. You also get a uh, text message. My phone is shattered. Oh, you're right. <laughs> but you don't know about it because your phone's gone. Yeah, because your phone was broken. Never mind. Does Layseth get a text? Maybe Layseth the... if it's from Lace... Harry. Yeah. Sure, Layseth, you get a text. <laughs> um, And it's from Harry. There's a bunch of typos. My hands are <laughs> so, so big. Yeah, so. Okay, who's being mean now? I'm sure he's got Harry's these a big fine hands. texter. <laughs> Yeah, he's got these great big maybe he's got it. Maybe he doesn't have a phone. He has to use an iPad tablet and like get uh, you know, the like three G, five G on it. Yeah. Uh, he tells you that he is in Niagara Falls. It has not been eight hours. Harry is he here. He traveled by ley lines. My <laughs> could do that. Did you not know that? <laughs> I, I hope that's think actually my what Harry happened. Is here. You're Harry, yes. He just sent me a text. See? Where are we meeting? <laughs> it's very badly typed. In all caps. It's all, all <laughs> his messages. I can't get him to stop capitalizing every letter. Should I give him this address, or should we meet with Mr. Mackey first? Mm. Oh, I sent Samantha th this address. Yeah, I think oh. go ahead and send him this address. Um, that way, if right. things did pop off, I mean, we have a big plan. We're all here. Certainly. All right. Tell, hey, text him. Text him. Just wait outside, and we'll come out. Yes, like wait by Misty's car. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and he'll he can like watch the perimeter or something. All right. And hey, ask him how he got here so dang fast. We'll ask him in person. I feel that texting is yeah not his favorite thing. No. And, <laughs> yeah, and, and him texting and drive. He's probably driving still. His motorbike. That would be a bad so, plan then. So. Yeah. Are we, are we going to go in or are we waiting for everybody? Let's go in. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think we should just go in. I think it's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out, surely. It always does. Oh, God damn it. You just jinxed it. Damn it. <laughs> Philbert, you know how magic works. Even if you don't use it, you know that if you put things like that out into the universe, it's going to come back and fuck us up, right? This is your fault now. Mm -hmm. Everything bad that happens in the next 24 hours is your fault. <laughs> yeah, I can't no. even argue that. I, I have no rebuttal. I, have I a... take responsibility. <laughs> yeah. I have a very good feeling about everything that's going to happen. Uh, Missy's going to smile and just sling her arm around Philbert's shoulders. Come on, let's go in. All right. So you guys walk up to the door. Are you knocking or are you just walking in? We'll knock. Okay, Very, probably a good idea. We, we are the world's worst house guests, but there's also gangsters in there and guns. Yeah. And possibly Delilah. Yes. So you knock on the door um, and it's pushed open. It's one of those like push ones to get out. Um, and you see Tommy standing there. Oh, hey, guys, it took you a while. Yes, yes, we took him to the falls. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's good. I, I kind of thought this was an urgent thing, but okay. Well, Ooh. we wanted to give you time to set up. We didn't want to be too early. That felt rather gauche. Yes. <laughs> this is a dinner Beyond party. the pails, turn up too early for a party. Oh, I, I, oh no. I've been given laces department lessons from the Victorian era. <laughs> And I brought some homemade combos. I was raised, grown Don't up to never show up to a party empty-handed. So since we're having okay. a party, homemade I combos. Didn't, I didn't realize this was a party, but okay. What flavor are these, Philbert? These ones, I'm trying chocolate chip cookie. The what? Oreo didn't pan out too well, so I thought still keep it cookie adjacent, but just try it slightly different. It's still... Well, don't tell Why me. Are you like okay, this? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Is this like God this? talking to me or is this, this Tommy is talking God. to me? God is God. talking to you. God's Why are you like this? Like, Why dude. are you like this? 
where did I fuck up? Why did I? <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have tried to make people when I was drunk. <laughs> No, no. God was on ketamine when he made humans. <laughs> so the real plan is to give every single person working for the spider food poisoning by Filbert. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a slow plan, but it's, it's a good one. Every... It should have been the jerky. That's we every can take bit as is... one person. That's one less person that we have to fight. That's every bit as viable as blessing Niagara Falls and yeeting the spider into that. I'm just and... saying. And giving them the shits is way more humane than just murdering them. <laughs> way funnier, too. I mean, if they, die of, if, death. if they die of dehydration. Well, yeah, yeah well, I mean, you know, historically, more people died of dysentery than war. So, um, it's true. Makes sense. Good, good work, Phil. That's excellent <laughs> historical precedent. How does Tommy, does Tommy seem like super pumped about the combos or uh, he seems super nervous about <laughs> everything that is happening right now still so very in a... awe of silas so Silas gives him a wink and a gun and says just, just oh, he up. faints no <laughs> uh but no he he ushers you guys in and uh leads you over to where travis mackey's office is Oh, knock on the door. Um, everybody roll me sharp. Backy, we're Eight. backy. Oh, getting the dice out twice. One night. Ace, six. <laughs> sharp is my Silas. best skill, and that's only going to be a five. I got nine plus two, 11. Right. Damn. Damn. That would also be a five for me, so I marked experience. I got I got eight total. Okay. You're all rolling two dice, right? Yeah, I got yeah. a one and a two. <laughs> and you're adding modifiers? I like... got a one and a two. That happens modifiers. when you roll virtual dice, yeah, Adam. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Adam. That's why I'm using Minus my new shot. heavy dice. Hell yeah. So what did you get, Grundu? Six. Six. Okay, three of you failed. Two of you... Um, so you guys are walking Everything's around. fine. I yeah. foresaw this. <laughs> Thanks, We're, Ezra. You three are here for the party. Um, uh, Misty and Shadow, you guys are looking around. Um, you see some of the people that you saw at the at the banquet. There was not 200 people at that uh, place. Um, you do see Delilah. Uh, she is what looks like she's working on some sort of spell over with a bunch of other people. Um, you're not seeing the um, the host or uh, Tommy's friend or the other guy uh, that Shadow described from his vision. Okay. Um, as we're walking, can I can I do that working again that I did to try and see the webs? Sure. To see if there's other people here besides those three, because we sure. know those three. I just want to double check. It's going to be a little bit harder because the source is not here. Okay. So go ahead and roll for me. Okay. Use magic. Use my weird. Use your weird. Sorry, Grundy. <laughs> uh that is 10 10 okay so you uh you kind of do you know a little bit of hand movements uh, some um spell work as we'll call it and you see the broken thread that leads to delilah <clears throat> um you see a few others like broken threads that lead to other people Looks like they may have worked with the spider at one point, but are not connected to him anymore. Okay, I'm gonna look at each uh, at each of them and, and try to memorize their faces just to sure. get a sense for how. Try to get a sense for how many the spider once had his claws in, because from, I don't trust anyone, frankly. From what you can see here, while you're walking through, and some of it, some of these tendrils also like go off, and you can't see who they're connected to. And you see some that are like actually like tethered still. But more, more than just the three that I knew about before. Yeah, there's like a tenish. It seems like. Ooh. Yeah. Anyone for tenish? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, 
uh, you can see that there are the ones that used to be connected. There are some that are standing with Delilah. Um, they seem to have a very similar look to what she has. Maybe a similar type of demon that she is. Okay. Um, you do see that they're doing some, like, with the spell that they're working on, it looks like they're doing shadow work. So they're, like, making things a little more darker in the area that they are. And there are there is also probably about seven people that have the broken ties to the to the spider. Um, you can't see all of them there because yeah. they lead around all over the place. But there's like a lot of people who either were or are connected to the spider. Yes, there's about close to twenty that you have okay. these like tendrils coming off of. Now there are about two hundred people in the area, so like. That's still a tenth. <laughs> yeah, compared, better to have most of these people on their side, but also. Yeah. Yeah, I will um, make note of all of the ones that I can see, like, uh, mentally jot down any distinguishing features so that I can run them down to Travis and be like, hi, these are the people that I saw that you, sh that you shouldn't trust. Sure. Um, as you're walking along to Travis's office, you do see one of the tendrils going towards the office. Okay, I'm going to keep that sight up then as we're heading in that direction. Sure. Um, Tommy leads you in. He knocks on the door to the office. Um, you hear Travis say, come in. Um, and as the door opens, you see the hostess from before walk out. And you walk in. And he is sitting at his desk, rubbing his forehead. And then when he he looks up at you guys. Reinforcements on the way? Should be here soon. Great. H who? Uh, a lawyer. A lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have lawyers. We, not you didn't just, have to bring no, your it's own. It's one like this. <laughs> it, is a, it, it is a bit one Bigfoot, at least. Maybe more, because I don't know who he was bringing with him. Um, we got some FBI agents you, coming. Harry? Yeah, Harry. Yeah, Harry. Oh. Well, I see your, you know Harry. I see your lawyer, I, too. He is not my lawyer. Oh, um, see? So. Did you know that he passed the bar? He was very proud of that. Oh, I did know that. I sent him a, a, a great, like, edible arrangement for it. Oh That's God. so lovely of I you. Mean, the thing is, he bar. hasn't actually passed the bar, but he knows a little bit. Enough to know you can't legally search his shit. Oh, damn it. I thought it was a good one. <laughs> no. Uh, we also have some FBI agents coming, specifically one that we know that we can trust and the people that she knows that she can trust. Okay. The Don't like fats. that, but okay. You know, uh, there's uh, there's bigger problems, bigger fish to fry, and I'm sure it's we true. can explain that to uh, the, the good agent. I'm sure you can. Um, it's not like we've had that much run in with the FBI in a while, so we try and keep things way far underground. Which might be amenable to a bribe. <laughs> Samantha? Samantha? Look, I'm trying to smooth things over. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to know what you're actually dealing with. You, uh, I don't think you'll be able to bribe her, but you could logic her. Okay. Although if she had that much <laughs> logic, if, if she had that many logical reasoning powers, she wouldn't hang around us ever. Well, she does try to avoid us. Valid. I think she's change her number a couple times to get away from <laughs> Several, us. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Also, you may already <laughs> know this, but there's a handful of people out there that have ties present or past to the spider. Present. Present. There, there were at least 14 or 15, uh, 13 or 14 that I saw that had current and and Misty will, will make like a, a a twisting motion, kind of like twisting a piece of yarn between her fingertips. Perfect. That's not great. I did I can, not know that. I can give you descriptions of all the ones that I saw. 
Mm, that will be something that we have to do sneakily. Mm. Uh, I do know of the of some that were also uh, used to be ties. Um, we helped them kind of get out of it. Uh, yes, Delilah was one that I saw along with others in that circle that were working on things. Delilah came to us. Uh, it's kind of how we knew about you a little bit. My, she was my, quite my lovely. Delilah. Yeah, she eviscerated she... so nicely. Which one of you skinned the vampire? <laughs> we all just point. <laughs> it was it was one little piece on the chest that I needed to it... do to save him. It was a mild flensing, that, and he made and far too much of him. a big deal about it. I, I just want to say that that's not what Delilah told me, and I'm... Demons don't lie very well, usually, so... Really? I mean, she got, okay. Okay. She like got all certain the demons. Of it. Oh. It didn't actually save him, but I thought it was going <laughs> to save him, which is why I did it. And if I knew it wasn't going to save him at all and it was just going to hurt really bad, I would not have done it, I promise. It was a simple misunderstanding. Shilbert was acting out, out of the goodness of his heart. I the don't gaslighting it... you do, you guys do over the, like, the flailing of, of Kenny Look. is so funny because I know it's because you forgotten what has happened in that no, scene I remember, and it is burned into bit. my memories no, I remember yeah no the like... term flaying is completely correct oh, absolutely yes <laughs> but like, there was some like, reason I th Philbert thought he was... needed to and I don't remember the reason but there was a reason because, because there was there, there was a he symbol a... that was tattooed or or etched into his skin Which, in some yeah. way and you thought that that by removing uh, the sigil. He, he, he thought you had free. to remove the whole the thing. Whole you really thing. just had to interrupt it, like yeah. a single so, Which is so fucking yeah. crazy because you interrupted Delilah's first, and then <laughs> Filbert went, "Guess what, motherfucker? Your whole chest is mine." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How like an big A4. was it? I she was picturing a little supernatural. Was chest. Oh, I would see. Chest. Okay, well, see, that's the first time, and and that this happened probably a year ago, and this is the first time in a year that I have realized it was that fucking big because I was always picturing like a supernatural, the TV oh. show tattoo, you know, they got yeah. the little circle tattoo. Oh, the shoulder thing, yeah. Yeah, so I was just picturing one of those the whole time. I didn't know it was would until still just this like moment. A, would, you would you still take off like a palm, palm size? I know. I Because that's how big the damn thing is. What would have been in the supernatural. I, that was in May of 21. I will continue to oh apologize. <laughs> um... Every How time I see Kenny, ago? I will apologize. Adam was in his 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I probably almost was. Oh. Honestly, Phil, oh I'm, I'm on your side about this. People overreact every time you flay their skin. It's it's ridiculous. I was I'm, so glad, to, I'm so glad that the two people were drinking at that point. You got to see the oval spit take. Oh, Kenny boy. Makes, Kenny likes to make a big fuss about it. But really, I mean, it was all fine. You He's guys fine. Think Kenny's like he lives in my house a... red free and he can shut up about it, frankly. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Sorry, yes, I'm getting sidetracked. Is, is Kenny coming to help us? No. No, he's going to stay at home and look after Philbert's uh, mum and dad. Yeah, you know what, which is just it's... now, this is the first time I've realized that's maybe like a terrible idea because I flayed his whole chest off. And now he's watching over no, my No, Kenny's got no beef with uh, with, with your parents. Just your mother you. is lovely. Yes, he just doesn't like you very much. That's what I'm saying. I can't though. imagine why. I thought I, we can't we can't get back <laughs> through it. I thought I was doing good. I, I as soon as I see Kenny again, I will apologize again. One day he will forgive me. I'm sure of it. I don't think he will, but that's all right. He's a vampire. <laughs> He can hold a grudge for a we very long time. We do not hold a grudge. <laughs> That's true. Oh, okay. Well, so Bigfoot, Bigfoot's friends. Yeah, I have perhaps, no clue who they are. And FBI agents plus more? At least two FBI agents. Uh... And one spoiled rich boy. Well... Wait, what? One spoiled rich boy? Yes. Yes, he's a, a friend of Shadow's from high school. Yeah, he's kind of a bitch. He's okay. 
<laughs> he, he has, I mean, he has some magical experience and, and so on. He's not he is an acquaintance resource. from high school who is not my enemy. I don't know if I'd say friend. For you, that is a friend. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's is, that, is that how you like, describe yeah. Samantha, too? Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we wish them any about, you're all particular my friends. harm. <laughs> Do we have any, we're like, friends. divine oh, that's that we can trust to call in? Probably not. No, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to think if there's anyone we're missing. I've spoken with lately have been encouraging me to go home. And I believe that if they expect me to go home, uh, they don't have my best interests in mind. I don't think they expect you. I think if they, if they, if you went home, you wouldn't come back. I agree. Whether that be they kill you or they somehow trap you there. Either way. Yes, both sound terrible, so... Mm, I agree. It's good so to have a divine those. on your side. Mm. What happens when you die? <laughs> I mean, I know that's, that's the big question, isn't it? But... <laughs> In general? Is there, like, a special, like, an extra divine hell or something? Or, like, you know, what happens? I or don't do know, know that I can actually die. I can be entrapped in, uh... A hell-like dimension for the remainder of eternity. It's kind of grounded for a little bit. Uh, eternity. Well, eternity. That mm. there is no returning from there. Yeah, but when you live forever, eternity is what? Forever. It's a wink, a wink of time. <laughs> I don't think you understand what eternity is, Shadow. <laughs> well, that's just assuming you don't escape. Hey, Lysith, what happens I... when I die? We will discuss that in a few years. What if I die don't, before that? I might die know. within the next bit, ten no. hours. Bit, bit, just, you no. should be good, you Philbert. Never I, didn't, I didn't see that, so you're good. Okay, yeah, yeah. That does make me feel a lot better, actually, Shadow. Hey, Silas, if one of us is about to die, can you just, like, you know, vamp us up or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather get divined hey, up than vamped up. Why haven't we tried that? Like turning our enemies into allies by vamping them up. Of uh, of like, the two, revamping them. Of the two, I have some experience with with the vamp side, and it's not fun. Don't recommend. I mean, not everybody's as well adjusted as me. Yeah, how long does that take before you like stop being an asshole after you're a vampire? Never. Uh, I haven't found out yet. <laughs> <laughs> also, when you start out, out at asshole level, you know, there's only down. Yeah. Do you know where the spider yeah, so is? Yes, I'm a saggy asshole. I don't think we do know where the spider is going to be, do we? I mean, at the moment, we know that he got yeeted into uh, Pazuzu's bedroom. What? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that yes. was my probably, game, unfortunately. He's probably I... out by now. My godfathers have. Oh, Susan's going to be so b mad. Oh, she was very unimpressed with Silas. It was our anniversary. Uh, she did, of course, blame him. She's no, it's her anniversary. Oh, yeah. oh, no. I mean, he may have learned something from the two of them. Um, I'm sure they stopped the <laughs> moment a demon got sent into their bedroom, I would hope. <laughs> a different demon. A demon. Hell has no fury. <laughs> uh, I that, that's how spotted. you defeat the spider. It's just Susan. <laughs> <laughs> she probably whipped his oh, ass for us. <laughs> Let's just send the spider to their house and Susan will fucking murder him. Susan will take care of it. We actually End should perhaps uh, contact Pazuzu and, and see if the spider made it out intact. Uh, he may be able to tell us that there are new vulnerabilities or missing parts. Would you yeah, imagine that. that this ends with the spider being murdered off screen yeah. by Susan, no, Pazuzu's no, right. wife? No, no, Susan. Look, that would have been a it's fucking right, guys. epic ass ending. Don't worry Look, about it. There's, there's like three different... Susan ripped off. He <laughs> bled out. It's all good. Like, there's, like three different, there's like three different uh, anticlimactic but utterly perfect for us ways that this ends. One is Pazuzu. <laughs> the one is that Niagara Falls. <laughs> Drowning with a blessed and, Niagara Falls. And then, and then food poisoning. <laughs> it's a bad combos. But not, it's not Pazuzu. It's Pazuzu's wife, Susan. Exactly. exactly. Oh, Susan. 
Pazuzan. Pazuzan. Yeah. I, I just realized that, that that Susan has most of the same letters as Pazuzu. Yeah. Minus yeah. <laughs> what is Susan's demon name? Is Pazuzu. Susan a demon? Just Susan. It's it's Susan. Susan. Or is she not a demon? Pazuzu. It's, it's, like, it's, Su it's Susan with a silent P at the beginning. She's Pazuzu. Or, or it's Susan still Halit. Why not? Yeah, can Susan, we, um, don't, Silas, don't can you call uh, Pazuzu and just see, like, what's the... What's the sitch? Yeah, where is the <laughs> spider? Is he still there? Did Susan kill him? Because that would make our lives much easier. Yeah, we could, like, just leave, <laughs> go back home, get some skyline on the way home, and call it a night. Yeah, or even the star place. That's better. Gold star. It's called Gold Star. I invoke thee. Rend aside the veil and reveal yourself to me. <laughs> fucking Pazuzu shows up in a fucking <laughs> silk robe. <laughs> I thought you were going to do all that and then just FaceTime him. <laughs> yeah, so this is so you call don't have Pazuzu. to do that every time you call somebody. No, no, it's exactly when he calls Pazuzu. <laughs> Calling Misty. Valid. <laughs> uh, is Pazuzu Silas. the same demon that became like a meatwad bowling ball? No, that no. was a no. different no. guy. Pazuzu he helped us do Pazuzu. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we got him a job with Pazuzu. Yeah. Because of the dental benefits. <laughs> yeah, Silas, Pazuzu's I the have... real demon we invoked. Silas, I have a phone. Yeah, but I. This is easier for me. <laughs> Do you remember that it's date night? He just gestures to what he's wearing. It is a yes. like thigh high silk robe. He looks like a demon because. Yes, well, th I'm sorry about that. I I'll let you go back to your uh, throwing the bone down very shortly. Just a quick question: What happened to the spider? <laughs> Did you... Susan rip his dick off? Pulled me out of my anniversary to ask me about the spider. Well, yes, because we're about to engage in the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny, and we sort of need to know whether he got his dick ripped off or something. Uh, he did not. Um, he kind of realized I'm where I'm he was. Disappointed. <laughs> Listen, Susan's not happy, and I bet Susan's very not happy now. Would uh, Susan be happy if we gave her the chance to rip off appendages from the spider? She's welcome to join us. <laughs> yes, let me go get my wife. Yeah, go, go on a hundred year anniversary. He disappears. Oh, Fuck yeah. Oh, no. God damn. <laughs> oh, no. We need more. We need more backup. So DB's over <laughs> here, like all of these goddamn fucking NPCs. <laughs> Remember, you asked for this later. <laughs> I just wanted to invite. Question: her. Is Silas scared of Susan? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the only person that Silas is scared of, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so travis is sitting there and he is rubbing his forehead again going you so, I, you really yep. do have a death wish don't you because like susan has like three three dates that you don't fuck with anniversary her birthday his birthday and sometimes valentine's day but eh, that can come and I mean, go well it's not so much a death wish. started shit on her anniversary this is clearly his problem and we will make it up to her. As you say that, you are interrupted by a large hellfire portal. And you see... This is going to step well back. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, and you see Pazuzu step out, dressed in his suit again. And he holds out his hand. He is a large man. We had determined that. He looks human now. Um, and you see this... Petite woman. Oh no. With long white hair and a beautiful uh blue dress on. Step out of the hellfire. And she is gorgeous. Ah, uh, Susan, you look 
radiant as she ever. She shoots you a look. <laughs> she just shoots you. Cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Silas, I don't ask for much. I ask for three days that you do not interrupt my husband and I. Three days. And that's, that's Earth days, not Hell days. Earth. And yet, today, you have interrupted us twice. I mean, I I wouldn't want to interfere, except that it's probably going to be the apocalypse. You're lucky that my husband has not taken me out for a good fight in a while. A so so. Shame. It's like, I, you know, sometimes I, there's not a lot we can do on the mortal realm. And now you're saying that we have a fight. We and do. Susan is the best. Glorious. She looks fantastic. <clears throat> oh, oh, thank you, darling. Ma'am, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. I have heard lots about you. Uncle um, Albert. Oh, yes, the one who flayed Kenny. It's... I swear, is that the only story anybody tells about me? Is the time I accidentally <laughs> yes. played a vampire? No, that you're vampire. also a part of the Fogel, Figgy Fogel Empire. The Fogel Five. Yeah, I do really like those. So delicious. My <laughs> recipe that I got from my mom, who <laughs> owns the restaurant, and makes you'll them. have to share that with me sometime. I didn't. I didn't want to tell you this, Philbert. But you actually have a nickname in the vampire community. It's uh, Philly the Vampire Flayer. That's all people talk about is the time I accidentally saved Kenny's life by flaying his chest a little bit. You're actually <laughs> something of a of a of a boogeyman in the vampire community. They're scared of me. I guess that's good. You see, you see her Fine. wide smile, and uh, Susan has pointed teeth. All of them, not just her canines. Oh, fuck. That's way like scary. A piranha. <laughs> like a piranha. That's way worse. I'm, I, I'm, just, I'm just picturing characters from Hasbun Hotel at this point. Very creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. Very creepy. Very creepy. <laughs> um, oh, do, creepy do lady these, type do these demons have, like, antlers that we're talking to? Uh, and, these, so they, they look, they currently look human. Um mainly cuz mortal realm and all that jazz though they would like they wouldn't have to uh because this is Travis's uh domain but usually if they come to earth they're like mm, let's try and blend in in case n normal people are around um Except for the teeth they never got that one right <laughs> no. never never this is Travis's valid. domain <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why we uh interrupted the second time but, but the first time of the second time um <laughs> was because we were trying to figure out where the spider had gotten to after he got unceremoniously dumped uh, into your in my bed yes ma'am we're very sorry about that it's fine i'll send you a fruit basket never again silas you know better yes yeah, sorry the i didn't mean to send erotic fruits that was just a, a hangover. I accidentally clicked all to save again to your address. <laughs> you see Pazuzu trying not to laugh. He thinks that the back and forth between his wife and uh, Silas is hilarious. He's um, right. <laughs> so, not sure where the spider went, but we can probably figure it out easily enough. That would be Thank fantastic. You. Yes. Travis, are... do you have a mirror? Or do any of you have a mirror? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, tend to carry them, but... She she holds out her hand to take it from you, Lysa. Lysa will give it to her and maybe let her fingers brush a little. <laughs> <laughs> is that just like a passive thing you have all the time is you can just have whatever you need when you yeah. need it because that's fucked up 
<laughs> well, I also have a list of things up her sleeve, and a mirror is on the list. Oh, okay. oh. Well, it was just like you—you you have what you need when you need it. Okay. I just—I just imagined her pull out like a full, full Lord length mirror. Just that's like, a no. Okay, this is this is more like a hand mirror. I figured. Also, I, I love that Lysith and Misty are both like, "Hi, pretty lady." <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> we've, we've established that that we know now that Misty's baby, fine. such a sweet kitty. baby. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> also, hi, lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, we only Less talk to the cats on this show. <laughs> yeah. Valid. There's there's a new uh, puppy at the at the studio that's that's owned by the the uh, production coordinator, and she brings him in pretty much every day. And we always like hi puppy and ooh all over him like oh hi Pam. <laughs> I feel a little bad about that. <laughs> so uh, she she takes the mirror, smiles gently to you, Layseth. And then you watch her start to circle her finger around the mirror of the edge of it, uh, muttering to herself before the image almost shatters and you can see the spider in the mirror. And she's looking at it. Uh, some, some sort of city. Not quite sure where. Is She'll there... hand it to one of you. I, I don't leave hell very often, so I don't know what mortals. They all kind of look the same to me. Is there a skate city? It's called <laughs> Skate Town, and that's not skate in it. It's town. not in it. I was so close. close. Baby. Skate City sounds way fucking cooler than Skate Town. Can you imagine if I made you guys go to Niagara Falls to then go to Southern Missouri? <laughs> that would be have so this fucking funny. Ball fight. No, I get hunted down by that fucking dentist. All right, I'll cancel. take the I'll, I'll take ambush it. him at the Bushwhacker Museum. I'll take the mirror and look at it. Okay. Roll me plus sharp. Okay, that is... That's your best thing. It's got to be better than a one and a two. Four and a six, that's so that's it? ten plus two, so twelve. Oh, yeah, you recognize Lissity. Uh, Looks like he's back in Louisville. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. That's a God. problem. That's where Mary is. Yeah. Is where Mary is. Um, He is currently... um. Looks like he's traveling. Can I? Hmm, what can I? What could I make out? Like, could I make out his his relative, like where he is right now, and then it's, just what direction he's traveling? Northeast, southwest. So I it's could... really hard to tell, um, because there's <clears throat> it's a, not a like huge mirror, so it's not like you're seeing a lot of it. You're seeing mostly him. Um, you do see it, uh, a restaurant that you are that you have seen before in the city. Looks like he's heading more outside of town. Okay. To fuck up our chilies. He. It looks like he's in Louisville, but it looks like he's leaving Louisville. Or heading to know. the suburbs. Or heading here, knowing that finding out that we're here. May, maybe don't you think he'd be able to like teleport or something what how's he you, you mentioned we can tell like he's traveling like what looks like he's in a car he's in a car okay yeah looks like he's just like driving in a car it's a very familiar route to you though Philbert I think he's going for your mom and dad Philbert is that the route yeah. Oh, right. Uh, who's uh, coming with The you? only reason well, he would I'll need come... a car is to transport other people. You hear screaming. Uh, go, go, go. Let's fucking go. Not <laughs> from the mirror. Oh, shit. God but damn from it. Inside the warehouse. No. You're going to make us split the party, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Do we care about anybody in the warehouse? <laughs> we kind of care about. Uh, we kind of care about not, not dying. Um, who's going with Lysus? Yeah, who's coming with me? Well, me. <laughs> Silbert, go. Grab Silbert. Who else? I got a free hand. Somebody. Silas, come. Silas, come. We going. can use a vampire. 
Silas is going. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Oh yeah, you have to roll. Somebody might. Oh. Hold on, just a second. <laughs> Do you have any luck left? I think. I actually have quite a lot of luck. Like I have only. Yeah, used I haven't one used luck. any I've, luck. I've, I've, used I've, I've, I've been. Luck. I've been. I've been hoarding it. I've used one luck. Okay. Actually. <laughs> Uh, Susan looks like looks at you and goes, "You're going to leave after you ruined a date night." Uh, I no, no, I'm going to stay here, uh, Misty. I think you're going to go instead of me, right, Misty? Please. <laughs> All right, and I'll I'll reach out and grab Lysette's hand. All right. Okay. You have luck left, right? I do. From the look on your like face, this might be the time to use it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah, that's only a five. So yes, we're going to use a luck. Okay. So you guys Oof. teleport to the house. And that's where we're going to take a break. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Half of our party is in Louisville. The other half is in uh, Niagara Falls. Misty's car is in Niagara Falls. <laughs> I hope Misty at least left the keys with you. I don't shadow. think like she did. Like... Well, I, 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 I can say that that like if I had a second to think about it, I would have like grabbed my keys and pushed them at uh, Silas's chest. But if you need to make me roll for that, I will. Do let's do that real quick. What do you want, what do you like want me to roll? Act under pressure, maybe. Act under pressure, yeah. It'd yeah, be a because this is feet. all quick, quick, yeah. quick stuff. Uh, so that is a seven. Okay. Uh, she definitely does push it at you, Silas. You drop them. Uh, as long uh, as they are uh, in the yeah, warehouse somewhere, it's fine. Somewhere around care. the car, they fall down a drain, and you'll never be able to escape now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> But right, yeah, so we're going to take a quick break. Everybody get some water, get up, stretch, do all that thing, we'll and we'll right be back. right back. Bye, buddy. From the city that brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken, Sluggers, and Muhammad Ali comes Roll for Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper, and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the the linchpin that's keeping everything together in the group. Laysath, the divine, and the sensible. And I still owe him my life, so I would have to end yours. It would be a mess. Shadow, the edgy initiate. I trust him with my life. I don't know if I trust him with, you know, my bank account or my car or something like that. Misty Charlotte Paladino, spellslinger and trench coat enthusiast. But I haven't set anything on fire that I haven't meant to set on fire. Silas Lancaster, elderly vampire. There's only one Filbert. They broke the mold when they made Filbert. And Dragon Bait as the Creeper Keeper. Silas, get back in your room! Roll for Weird on Twitch, streaming monthly New podcast episodes every other Friday. Available on Apple or wherever you find your podcasts. Ah, so nice of you to stop by. Come in, come in. I'm Silas Lancaster, and this is my library. Within these tomes, you will find tales of monsters, both figurative and literal. Tales to make the strongest of us blanch in fear. Such stories are dangerous, and consumption must be strictly rationed. As such, I shall share but one story from my library each Thursday in October each year. Be sure to tune your wireless receiver to Storytime with Silas. Alternatively, subscribe on those podcast providers the youth seem so fond of. Campaign 2 of Halfway to Heroes. Darker, grittier, and much more dignified than Campaign 1. We see the Forever Storm. 
A 50 mile wide storm centered on the severed key. Though dangerous, it is vital to the survival of nearly every being in this slice of pizzazz. <laughs> this source of energy is. <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> the you motherfuckers <laughs> named it. I forgot the name. <laughs> pizzazz or bizazz? <laughs> bizazz. <laughs> it sounded like he said pizzazz. It's, it's supposed to be bizazz or whatever. <laughs> you know what? I you know what? I fucking knew that was gonna happen. I forgot <laughs> all about it. Dude. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But either way, join us every other Tuesday wherever you get your podcast as we start a brand new story featuring four monsters that have put aside their differences if they're to stop the armies of men once and for all. Do you like Dungeons & Dragons lore? Do you like drunk history? Well then, Lore and Poor is the show for you where we combine the two. I'm Adam DeWeese and I'm the host and I bring on a cast of rotating guests and we hang out before the show, have a few drinks, and then they are given their topic 30 minutes prior to pressing the record button where they study up on the topic. And then we hit record and whatever they say goes, they are treated as if they are the leading experts in the field. And I ask the questions that you never thought you needed to ask, such as how do mind players go to the bathroom? Yeah, they just go one one time and it's pee and poop and it's green. What's the most dangerous creature in the astral plane? It just pinch it. You know? Yeah. It's just... And that whale is like, you know They what? got pinchers? Oh, <laughs> you don't Do even they know have about pinchers. pinchers. Find the answers to all these questions and much, much more, whether they're accurate or not, on Lore and Poor. You can find Lore and Poor on the Majesticus Network and wherever you download your podcast every other Monday right now. Space. The final front. Mayday alert. We are under attack. Oh, Blarney. I kind of got to watch the tube for 10 seconds. Rerouting auxiliary power to abjuration shields. Someone get on those cannons. We've got company. Are you looking for a Dungeons & Dragons sci-fi fantasy space adventure? Then what you are looking for is Eclipse. Join our crew every other week as we struggle to keep the galaxy safe. With Dr. Shepard, the Illithid Cleric. It's the base pirates. That was wild. Ava Elkin, the human monk. If we play our cards right, we might not be totally screwed. Lita Nove, the ASMR bard. We should be arriving in Amaron in about two hours. Info O. Scott, the Warforged Artificer. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and fire the sonic cannon here. Kanan Vargas, the Tiefling Sorcerer. Does anybody else think this is like a super aggressive move? And I'm Jeremy Fair. I will be your dungeon master. Eclipse can be found on Spotify, Apple Music, or anywhere you like to get your podcasts. So you've decided to make a new home for yourself in the retirement community of Pennycross. We're very excited to have you join us. Here in Pennycross, you can enjoy some independence in your golden years, spending time with like-minded seniors without worrying about those darn kids on your lawn. We have a wide range of rental properties available and a variety of amenities staffed by locals who are middle-aged. No need to worry about crying babies or teenagers with attitudes serving you at the pub. In addition, there are dozens of clubs, guilds, and activities to keep you feeling young at heart. Join our Lawn Bowling League, the Puzzle Club, or our renowned Knitting Guild. Established by Agnatha Harper nearly 200 years ago, our guild has attracted a wide range of members. We're delighted that you're making Penny Cross your final home. Please ignore the ominous smoke coming from the mountain. It only started a few days ago, and I'm sure it will dissipate shortly. Welcome home, weary traveler. Crits and Nits is a 5e actual play podcast and Twitch series with the live streams and the podcast drops alternating every other Wednesday, starting Wednesday, February 2nd on the Majestic Goose Network or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Jerundu. And we are the hosts of Majestic Goose's newest podcast, Dice Talk. Dice Talk is a Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop podcast that dives into the deep topics of tabletop role-playing games. Join us as we speak with passionate content creators, podcasters, authors, and more as we discuss all manner of tabletop and geek-related content. Dice Talk is a bi-weekly show, so we're hitting your podcatcher with brand new episodes every other week, filling your ears with exclusive interviews and conversations that you can't find anywhere else. Every episode is a new opportunity to hear from different creators in in the tabletop community and just talk about Dungeons and Dragons and any other tabletop games that have made us who we are. Dice Talk, now on the Majestic Goose Podcast Network. Make sure you check us out and subscribe so you never miss an episode. A Majestic Goose Podcast. Honk.
In a world where adventure awaits and danger lurks around every corner, an unlikely group of friends find themselves on the path to becoming heroes. But school will only get them halfway. Merlin, the human warlock barber guy. Oh god, no, I gotta buff his butt! No! Can I refuse business? Ubo, the turtle artificer. Well, it doesn't work yet, but uh, I'm working on it. Ultrex, the discarded warforged paladin. I don't eat or sleep or wear clothes, so I just sit in the corner and wait. And Clyde, the Goliath barbarian in skinny jeans. They're called skinny pelts, okay? Find us on iTunes or wherever you download your podcast by searching for Halfway to Heroes. From the city that brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken, Sluggers, and Muhammad Ali comes Roll for Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper, and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the linchpin that's keeping everything together in the group. Laysath, the Divine, and the Sensible. And I still owe him my life, so I would have to end yours. It would be a mess. Shadow, the edgy initiate. I trust him with my life. I don't know if I trust him with, you know, my bank account or my car or something like that. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, (laughs) Who wants to recap real quick? We're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. That that is a good recap. Susan. We made some phone calls. Uh-huh. Uh, we called Samantha and uh-huh. got her and some FBI reinforcement on the way. Uh, we called Harry and got him and other folks, maybe, on the way. We're not sure who he brought with him. The Hendersons. Mm-hmm. Uh, we showed up at the address that Travis gave us. It is a warehouse. And uh, Silas did a little bit of sneaking around in his cloud form and uh, felt that it was Probably safe, probably not a trap. Uh, just to be sure, Shadow did his uh, little amulet trick and looked into the future and also feels like it's probably okay. Um, Misty got a text from Samantha asking her where to meet uh, because she's there already. That was fast. And a few minutes later, we get a text from Harry saying, uh, where am I meeting you on here? Which was also really fast, which is strange. Um, so we gave them all the address of the warehouse and went inside. Uh, Tommy opened it and was still kind of starstruck and let us in, ushered us towards Travis's office. Um, Misty and Shadow recognized some faces from the banquet uh, and Delilah from the church. Misty, again, used magic to see the webs of attachment to the spider, uh, saw a lot of broken ones and about 10 that are still connected. Um, there were several similar types of demons to Delilah standing with her doing some shadow work. Um, we got to the office and the hostess from before was walking out. Um, Misty mentioned to Spider the active ties that some of his folks still have to the spider and he seemed surprised by that. Um, We did explain that as far as we knew, uh, the spider had ended up in Pazuzu's bedroom. Uh, Travis was surprised that they were in his godmother's bedroom. And uh, also that's a thing that we didn't really dive into, Um, but that's fine. Um, We did uh, have it pointed out to us how much of a problem it was to interrupt Susan on one of the three dates that she requires no disturbances on um and then silas summoned pazuzu Mm. to ask where the spider went and uh pazuzu pointed out that uh susan was not pleased not pleased and uh we invited her to come join us so pazuzu brought his wife and she's pretty she's real pretty (laughs) she's very pretty Uh, She seems willing to help us locate the spider because it's been a while since she's been in a good fight. Uh, She used a mirror and some magic 
to find him. Uh, Filbert recognized the location. He was in Louisville traveling towards a familiar location. So Lisa grabbed Filbert and uh, Misty and uh, bamfed to Louisville to uh, Filbert's home uh, <laughs> and used luck to do it because, yeah. How much luck do you have left? Uh, three. Ooh. Lisa has used luck more than I think anyone else. Ooh. Because if Especially she doesn't use buffing. luck, she fucks people over. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buffing yeah. and healing. Yeah. <laughs> three luck, please. <laughs> Just seems like an odd way to quantify luck. I have three. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. I'm, All right. I'm less than half now. So. so, where specifically at the house are you bamfing? We'll start with you guys. I think to the kitchen. Okay. You bamf into the kitchen and Mary goes, Oh my goodness. Where did where did you where did you guys come from? Niagara Falls. Um Okay. Hey Lisa, we didn't get to chat about this. Things were happening too fast. I'm thinking maybe you take mom and dad and maybe try to bamf them back with shadow silas and all the mackies maybe that's do you think that's a good there idea? was screaming happening there, there was screaming i forgot <laughs> thank you god i did forget there was screaming happening <laughs> was, where maybe you could take them to an active going, fight i was going to suggest that perhaps we uh go to silas's home and uh secure them in the oubliette that seems the better choice that does make it seems sense. like a safe place yes can you hear banging Go on the front door. Yes, take him. Yes. Take him to Silas's. Oh, uh, who, who's that? No, don't. Just don't. come with me. I'll don't. get him. Go with oh, okay. the Lisa. Okay, okay. Your dad is standing up from his chair to go answer the door. Dad, come here. Ooh. No, 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 no. Don't. Answer. I'm gonna <laughs> try to run to the front door and try to intercept him. Beat him. Go, go. Touch Lisa's hand. <laughs> They don't even have to touch Lisa's hand. There is a portal to fucking Silas's yeah, house. Oh, yeah. Right down just the go to the, the fucking door. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, go downstairs. Don't, There's don't a closet. Don't curse at me. That was, that was Adam cursing. Oh, okay. I, was so dumb. I forgot about <laughs> no, that. No, no. I have that in character. That's excellent. <laughs> I, I did straight. And still have the Filbert accent. Listen. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you look, go downstairs. Silver follow Lisa. And uh, Lisa's going to take you. There's a there's a room downstairs. It'll say keep you safe. Okay. Me and Misty will be right behind you guys. Okay. He follows his wife and Misty. I'm not not, I'm not Misty. Lisa, I apologize. <laughs> I looked over at you. That's what happened. <laughs> Look, I know I'm distracting DB, but <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Misty, do you oh. think we should, should? Do you think we should follow? to silas i was just pretty much telling that to my dad to get him away but do should we follow them or deal with the door you hear shouts coming from outside uh this is the police open up should we just go to should we go to silas's house go to silas's house let's go to this silas's house we're not here i don't really like what's to grandfather's house so as as you guys are starting to head towards the stairs you hear the door being broken in Trying to run if we can Go. if we can beat it. Uh yeah, you, you guys manage to and you hear boots stomping in as you guys run to the door to to the basement. Yeah. Um you do hear a gunshot go off behind you as you turn a corner. They're shooting at us. <laughs> it's yes. like real cops. This is so <laughs> scary. Can we? Okay, so what's the deal with this door? How do you like the magic door? Um, Just go through it. But yeah. are we able to close it? Like, can we like lock shut, it from the like other shut side? The magic down or something? Yeah. No, the person who could do that is not there. Fucking it's connected to Silas? Shadow. Goddamn Susan. Or is it? Is it? Is it Silas it or Shadow? Shadow, Shadow did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shadow did do it, so we could get yeah. back and forth. But easier. you guys get into Silas's place. I want to look at the at the working and like running my hands over it to see if sure. there's a way that I can break it. Sure. 
Uh, Sorry, Chad. I'm, we can fix it later. Yeah, because if somebody Shadow's comes door, they, if they come I'm down, not, I'm not gonna break the door. I'm going to break the the. I'm gonna try to break the connection between the basement and here once we're through. Damn. Yeah. So you you run in and you see Ida standing there, going, "Oh, oh, I I didn't think we were having guests." Uh, uh, <laughs> roll for me. What would you like me to roll for you, um, my dear? Uh, oh my gosh. Act under pressure to see if you can, like, figure this out as they are definitely running after you. Okay. Can I make an argument for, for, for using weird? Uh, so, since yeah, I'm going to have you I'm do chilling. both, okay. but I want I want first one first. Pressure. Yeah. Okay, at it. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to use a luck on that one. Okay. To give myself a 12, because... Okay. Now's the time to burn it. You know, uh, we're getting toward end game. Now's the sure. time. So you see it's very complicated. Um, Shadow did some really good work with setting up this portal door between the two. Um, oh, I've, never, I've never underestimated how good of a practitioner he is. I give him yeah. shit for his personality all day long, but <laughs> he's a, he's an excellent uh, practitioner. You can build a motherfucking door. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll for me, use magic to see if you can disturb it. Um, Shadow's got an arcane contractor qualification. Yeah. Like building that door is the most like normal guy shit Shadow's ever done. You're destroying it. <laughs> uh, that's a ten. Okay. So um you're trying to, and you're you're just about to when two of the cops come through the door. And they have their guns out and they're like, get on your knees. I'm going to uh trap them with magic. That's you feel the house also get very heavy. Mm -hmm. You say, you are not welcome here, and wrap them up in, in, in my magic. Sounds good. R roll use magic. Sure. And this I'm also using my practitioner, so I get a plus four to this instead of a plus three. Okay. Didn't need it. Uh, that is a 15. Okay, you definitely wrap them up in your magic. They are trapped. Uh, they will be trapped until you let them go. That's how well you did. Wonderful. Uh, um, you see them start to try and bang against it. But I I would assume that this cage, because usually you have like crossbars and whatnot. I would assume that this is like a solid wall kind of cage, right? See through yes. without. Yeah, they can breathe, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trapped in a glass case of emotion. I mean, it was that or wrap them up like like a spider wrapping up in, in the web that seemed a little too thematic and not as, something that Misty is necessarily good at. That's fair. <laughs> uh, as you turn around, you see Ida. You see a teenage boy sitting on the stairs. And you see a very, very dark entity at the top of the stairs. What what what's going on? I'm gonna look at that entity. Does it look like anything that I know? Anyone that I've no. Look over at Layseth. Like point with my chin. Um, Ida. Hello. Hello. These are Filbert's parents. Oh yes, I'm Mary met, and I've uh, met Mary. Yes. Very uh, sweet. We need to secure them in the oubliettes. Okay. As there is someone who is on the way. Uh, we are in the middle of averting an apocalypse. Okay. I hope. <laughs> hey guys, I think we okay. I think we forgot about Kenny in the other in the other house. He's fine. <laughs> I mean he's revived your flaying, he'll be uh I think Ida saw you look up at the thing at the top of the stairs. Probably. And she looks up and she goes, oh, d don't don't worry about him. Who is He's it? okay? Who is he? That? He protects the house. Oh, lovely. There's there's three of us who live here. I don't know if Silas has talked about this before. He hasn't. 
this is my house. The boy is very angry, and he flips the bird. Um, and then there's that one who is only a problem if there is a threat. Oh, wonderful. Got it. Well, the threat is currently contained, and I would prefer to avoid killing officers of the law if we can avoid it. I'm uh, not saying don't. I'm just saying not unless you have to. Sure. Um, you you can kind of see that that one like slips back into the shadows and kind of disappears for now. Okay. Uh, I am going to finish pulling down um, Shadow's construct. Sure. Because you, you I, did. I, I don't think that that will be the last cop. Uh, you did actually pull it down. It was just those two managed to get through. Um, beforehand. You don't know if they're trapped in the in between between the two doors <laughs> now, though. So you didn't <laughs> that, kill them. You doomed them to an eternity <laughs> in a void. Well, are 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 they no. in? Are they in Silas's house or are they in Filbert's house? Because it's a doorway. I. I, I, that's I, a, I but that's a good so, question. Maybe it's like a hallway. Well, it's a, it's you a doorway. I so I, it's, it's a doorway. It's, I it's think, door, but I was trying to like close the door behind us and have it so that they can't follow us. Sure, um, across uh, town. So while you were doing that, two of them managed to get through all the way. Got but it. the other, you hear, you can hear kind of banging on the door, but that slowly goes away. Sorry, Shadow. I'll help you fix it later. Yeah. Um. And right now, you are relatively safe. Right. Um, we need to make a plan. Yeah, yes. Let's get them in the oubliette real quick and then. Yes. Ida, is it all set up in there still from when Kenny was sleeping there? Yeah. Well, we, uh -huh. we cl uh, Silas cleaned it up, but well, that should be the... fresh, fresh sheets and everything on the bed that's in there. I, I can't go in or I'll get trapped. Right. Yes. Um, and once the door is closed, are they safe in there? No Hopefully one can enter can without without any of your guys' permission. Lovely. Perfect. All right. Um, Mary, if the yes. two of you would enjoy uh, a little getaway. It's mm -hmm. like a staycation a little bit. Uh, okay. Well, it it is getting eh, kind of late, so. Yes, just uh, I'm sure there are books. Silas always has books. Uh, you may not want to read Silas. You may want to read Silas's <laughs> books. I don't know. Um, we're going to leave the two of you to your privacy if you would like to read his books and uh, enjoy your evening. Oh, okay. Uh, she, you know, pulls her husband in with her into the oubliette. Wink, wonk. And you, cl you close the door. Old person sex. Yep, that's what's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> they're not. They're not that old. <laughs> They're really not. Ooh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> How old do you guys think they are? Late 50s. Mid, mid 60s. Mid 60s isn't old. Fair. The older, uh, the, and the older we all get, the yeah, less, less old, old that seems. Old, the old, yeah. the yeah. less old everything above us becomes. Yeah. I'm young. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will look at Ida once. Once they're settled and say, thank you for your hospitality, I would ask to continue to impose on it a little longer. We might be in trouble. I understand that, you know, my grandfather, but this is your home. Hmm. You are always welcome here. Thank you. We are being followed by the spider. He was on his way to Filbert's house. That's why we came through in rather a hurry. Interesting. Well, what kind of creature is he? A demon, apparently. Question mark? Yeah, I say one. I say looking at, at Laza. Possibly more of a god. It's it's hard to say. Well, Silas doesn't have this warded for many things because of his connections. Mm -hmm. Um, so wards will not help you here. No. But you do have ghosts. 
That is the hospitality I was hoping to impose on. I say, glancing in the direction of where the shadowy entity disappeared. But if it is too much of a risk to the three of you, then we'll find somewhere else to to make a stand. You do not need to worry about that. This house has been through a lot. And we are not the only ones that are here. You're the best. You really are fantastic, Ida. I do try. There's banging at the door. At the, like, Silas's front door? Probably that door. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, which <laughs> yeah, door banging. are we talking about? Oh, door. <laughs> Different kind of banging, man. <laughs> which door is that, DB? The front door? The front door. The front door. Does um, it sound like the same banging as before, like cop banging. <laughs> sounds very, <laughs> sounds very similar. I'm sorry, I'm a small child. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna jump over our to our other two. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Give us some time. Um, the screaming is happening inside the warehouse. Um, uh, people are screaming. They're shouting. Um. There is chaos starting to re rain out out there <laughs> as the cat jumps across the desk. Constant chaos. <laughs> yeah, cats are um, just agents of chaos. You see uh, Travis stand up and hand a rather massive sword over to Pazuzu. Uh, and then another to Susan. It looks like we have a fight. I'm sure the two of you can handle yourself. Yeah. Um, and you watch <laughs> as Pazuzu holds open the door for his wife. And she almost seems to glide out of the office and into the chaos. When you when the door opens, you see that there are fires that have been started. There are people fighting each other. People that you thought were were friends. Uh, you see Tommy get hit by his buddy that you saw at the banquet. It Tommy. looks like <laughs> like more people have are starting to fight each other. That the ten people that were a problem are now, it's like almost seems like half and half are a problem. Do they just seem like normal, or do they? I mean. Do I have you any see, indication as to why this is, like, why they're fighting each other? Like, why they're not on the same side? Roll for me sharp real quick. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to detect this magically? Well, I do have hold three. Mm. Uh, sure. Um. So. Well, I don't know if I saw this. You could, like, I don't, you know it makes what? Sense. Well, I'm like, well, actually, it's that if, face. It, and if, you that wanna, face. if you want to, if you want to burn one of your hold threes, I can give you some more information. Okay. So, like, from uh, our perspective, is just like we hear some shit going down suddenly, and we go out there and look, and they're all fighting. Uh, like, that's basically what know. you saw. You did, yeah. you did not. But, um, with burning one of your uh holds, you get this flash of the hostess. Mm -hmm. And she is putting her hand on people's shoulders and whispering into their ears. And it is causing people to turn on each other. And, and like the guy that gave them the swords, like what's his name? The guy we're talking Travis. about? Travis. Travis. How does he like know what's going on? He just like hand them swords. Like, yeah, go in there. He just assumed some shit was going down. Okay. He is, uh, he is not one of our bad probably. guys. <laughs> Okay, I just Travis just like oh yep here's swords go kill my minions. No so no I just no. Didn't know like how he knew. Okay. Um. So the host, I see the host, where I guess I recognize now from my yeah. vision earlier. Like oh, that was yeah. the host, and she's whispering in people's ears. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I just have a sword. I don't know how I can really fix this other than slicing people in the pieces <laughs> which i don't think shadow does that shadow hasn't really just like started cutting up 
normal people. When all you got is the hammer, all of your problems look like nails. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You do know that um, they're not people. They are they are monsters. Okay, I'm gonna look around <laughs> and um do I see Okay, so we're in this warehouse, right? Mm-hmm. Do I see a water line? Sure. Like am I like, oh yep, there it is. That, that's the black pipe. That's gas. Don't touch that one. That one's probably water. <laughs> sure, sure. There there's a sprinkler system, so yeah, that's what I'm looking for yeah. specifically. I have a useful object ready, according okay. to this. I can spend a hold on that. And okay. what I would like to have is for once, uh, not that old black magic like I normally have, but some holy magic. I'm going to walk over and put my hand on the water line that leads to the sprinklers. I'm going to attempt to bless it, and then I'm going to uh, activate that shit. Nice. Okay. So it starts raining blessed water. Okay. So um, I will use my mystic ability every time i use magic i take one forward so earlier i used magic so i do Mm -hmm. have one forward for that as well so i guess what do you want me to do just roll weird or is this something else no this is magic so roll um use magic okay five plus four plus three so nine twelve and then plus one for having one forward so thirteen you do exactly what you want. Uh, you bless the water. It turns on the sprinkler system. And almost everybody in this room is screaming. Yeah, so I, I think I realized, like, magic's the same no matter what. It's yeah. the human the human condition that perceives it as good or bad. Yes. Uh, and so blessing, it's just another form of magic. So I'm going to do that. And then, yeah, I'm going to, like, pull this fire alarm thing and just set off the sprinklers with what is hopefully now blessed water. Assuming it, it's all coming from that pipe. It is. You okay. you do that. You have blessed the waters in the in the um the warehouse. And like I said, there's a lot of people screaming now in more pain. Um Pazuzu and Susan being two of them. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Kind of I don't a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't it's really not... like them anyways. They're just not my immediate enemy. Sure. Shadow sure, sure, kills sure. demons for a living. He does really not give a fuck about them. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. So there is a mad rush for everybody to start going to the door. As this rush happens, um the host is knocked to the ground. Um Silas, what are you doing? Oh yeah, what about Silas? Oh no. Uh yeah, well, I guess if Shadow communicated anything about this host to Silas, then he's gonna see if she's still in the building and if so, stop her from activating any more people, if that is what she's doing. Does this water affect Silas? That's what I'm worried about. It makes about. him sizzle a little. I did not think about that until <laughs> until now. It's so it's Shadow's a little, like, it, oh no. It's a little it's really, painful. Yeah, it's really uncomfortable. It's yeah, like, but not like not ne- terribly bad. Poison ivy yeah. or something. It's like ah, <laughs> a light sunburn. <laughs> he pops his he pops the collar up on his tweed jacket to try and stop it going down the back of his neck at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold up my necklace, and I feel like because it like can see the future or whatever, kinda. Mm-hmm. I just imagine it can like kind of show a visage of her face mm-hmm. i'm like the, i'm like find her and i like pull out my sword and i like walk out of the room towards the crowd of screaming people there is a sea of people running for the doors well silas is going to turn into a mist and then like i say see if you can spot Im- amidst the chaos the um the host sure um Roll for me. Sharp. Shall. Sharp. Why does it have to be the bad thing, DB? <laughs> I don't know. That's a five. Okay. Um, Do you want a, to, you luck? I've just spent a low point, yeah. Okay. So, um... First one I spent, actually. <laughs> oh, good. 
Uh, you, um, you find her. She has been knocked to the ground. Um, you see her. Somebody has like stomped on her hand, so she's she's like cradling her hand, trying to get back up off the ground. Uh, as people are pushing and shoving to get out of the holy water. <clears throat> Okay. Um well in that case um gonna cloud on over to her mm -hmm. and uh uncloud and try to grab a hold of her, basically. Okay. Uh roll kick some ass. Okay. I'm rolling terribly today, but at least it's a plus three. Uh so that's a Nine. Nine asses kicked. Yeah, I kicked precisely so nine asses. you grab her, and she does try to, like, swing back and, like, clock you with her elbow. Mm -hmm. Um, She does make contact, but it's not a very hard hit, so you don't really take anything from it. I also think you have um armor, uh, right? Yeah, I have damage reduction. Minus one yeah. to the harm suffered, because I am immortal. Yeah, so she has... She's not her elbow was not gonna do anything to you cool all right uh gotcha oh silas oh you <laughs> <laughs> oh what is... you're what what have you been doing, you naughty little person? I do what I do best. And I don't suppose there's any way I could convince you to undo what you've just been doing. Perhaps with a cushy job in Pazuzu's. <laughs> I'm not working for him again. Again? Oh, I see. Um... She lays her hand on your arm. Yep. And she tries to do what you normally do to people. And hypnotize you. Hypnotize me? Oh no. Uh. Hmm. Roll use magic to see if you can fend her off. Counter the. Uh... That's a five plus three, eight. Okay. You feel her start to try and take over. Like she is weaseling her way into your mind. Mm. And she Mental gets to judo, some eh? she gets to some um pretty important memories for you. Before you are able to shove her out of your head. All right. A scanner's jewel it is, then. Uh, Silas is going to try and uh, probe her mind in okay. return, I guess, to try and find out if there's a way of like deactivating the sleeper agents, which is what he's assumed that she's just done. Sure. You have a you have a thing that you roll for that, right? Well, it would be. I mean, in this case, I guess I'm just using magic, or I mean, I could try. Yeah, just use magic. It's all good. Whoop. Do that again. Roll them onto the floor. And again. Dice are just everywhere today. Throw your dice on the Come ground. On ball <laughs> dice tonight. Oh, I should use those ones. They roll better for me. <laughs> I got it out from under the sofa. Okay, so that's five and a three. Eight. Uh, okay. Plus, plus three is 11. Oh, yeah. You do, yeah. Eight plus three is 11. You know that the only way for this to happen for her, her power to be released off of these people is for her to do it herself or for her to die okay well that makes the next arranged. decision quite easy <laughs> <laughs> oh no Say it's it num so. time okay so nummy, you're gonna nummy, num nums you're gonna rear back and nom on her yeah well it's, it's like well I can either engage in a philosophical debate with this person, uh -huh. or not, or I could just press the off switch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you uh, roll, kick some ass. That's another eleven. Six plus two plus three. Perfect. 
That's you four damage from four damage. Mm -hmm. Well, are you are you feeding from her? Is that what you're planning on doing? Uh, I just want to tear her throat out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you do so. Um, she is in no way able to really fight back with her broken ass hand, and you see that the panic starts to subside. Um. Shadow, as you're, you know, going out trying to fight somebody, you're grabbed all of a sudden. Okay. By, by the big man with the the uh really blue eyes. Does he seem affected by the holy water at all? He does not. How am I grabbed? Like from behind, like to grab my arm or something? Yeah. He tries to like take you to the ground kind of thing. I'm going to attempt to spin around and slice him with my sword that I have drawn already. Sure. As I've been walking through this mass of demonic entities. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to attack him with a sword. Kick some ass. It's literally like a katana or some shit. Like I'm it just is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slice him with a katana that's covered in holy water. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Is a uh, katana an old fashioned hand weapon? Technically, yes. Then I inflict an additional plus one harm. <laughs> it's um, an old it's fashioned an hand old weapon. Old fashioned. It's ancient fighting arts is one of my things. This so is not, that it's not sense. a gas station katana. Okay, this is wild. So this is kick some ass, right? Because mm -hmm. I just roll a six and a five. <laughs> so this is like the best ever. So that's gonna be like Dang. a thirteen plus one. It's a fourteen. Dude grabs me and I just like turn around and slice him with the sword I'm holding. Yeah, he really you needed to just yeet that other die away. That's how that's what happened. You slash slash him across the the chest and he lets you go. Um, he is still standing. He is a very hardy man. Um, you see that he now has like claws out. Mm -hmm. Um, and is gonna start going for you as well. Yeah, I what slice him and then like I take a like a pose. Where, like, if Silas is looking, it's, like, the most serious he's ever seen me. Where it's like, oh, actually, he's trained to fight. And I'm, like, in this <laughs> pose, ready to sure. strike. And, um, I mean, if it, if his response to getting slashed is, like, I mean, what's it like? Like, do I get him really good and it just doesn't seem to affect him? Yeah, it, or does it, it, it feel like I just grazed him? You you got him. Like, it sliced through his uh, his shirt and everything. You can see blood coming down his chest. But he's he's still up. Yeah, then I uh, I'll like lower my knees, go into a low stance, aim the sword forward, and I'm like ready to strike uh, in like a like a thrusting, stabbing motion. Sure. Um, hmm. I guess yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I think I would just try to attack him with the sword again. So okay. So what is it? When I hit with my regular sword, is that just one harm? And then my fighting arts makes it two harm? Is that how it works? I think your sword does two harm, right? And it then it's an extra, so it'd been three harm. But he has ar he has armor, so like he has a thing to keep him from going straight down. Yeah. I just realized that there hasn't been a lot of situations where I just like sliced the No, I've in half. not made you I've not made you guys fight a lot in this game. No. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I'll get into that pose and then strike. And I'm going to, uh, this time, I, I imagine since I'm on the attack and not just being grabbed suddenly, I might mm -hmm. do even better. It's going to be hard to do better than last time, but I guess I'll roll again. And uh, <laughs> this, not, not as good. This time is a six plus two, so eight. Okay. Um. So you... You go to like stab at him and he manages to uh barely get around. You still catch him, you, like you clip him, but he takes his claws and he rakes it across your back. Okay. Um, he does two harm. You have armor though, right? As well. Do I have armor? I don't it's... I thought your jacket was armor, wasn't it? My, was my, my coat oh, is armor. Misties. Oh, okay. I have enchanted clothing. Yeah, I, I did the Dresden sheet. Files thing. I just did sigils on a leather coat. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm looking at my sheet. I don't see any armor on mine. Yeah, it says I have old fashioned armor. One armor heavy. Okay, so you like would take one one damage or something under your 
Yeah. Clothes. Okay. Yeah, I think like in my leather jacket is some sort of material that makes it. Yeah. Like Kevlar or something and it's woven yeah, into the jacket. Beans. Okay, I take one harm for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> in like four, in like four years. You don't oh, get to like, take ow. a lot. You only get to take like three and then you're unstable. I look him in the eye and I'm like, no one makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Silas, you can smell Shadow's blood. You hang out with him enough, you know. That's Shadow. That's classic that's, Shadow. Uh, that's Shadow. Smells like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> AB positive. Uh, cigarettes and pizza rolls. And you can see that <laughs> Shadow is currently in a fight with this big guy. Give me sharp again, real quick, Silas. No, I don't like the, those what rolls, DV. I know. Boo. I know. Oh my god. That's the first uh, time I've ever got hurt. Double two. <laughs> Four minus years. One. A double two? Three? Yeah, double two minus experience. one. <laughs> I've got three three experience points this one session. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gotta level um, up before let's... before we hit the end of the session. Hey, I shall okay. spend I shall spend another look actually. Okay. Um you are looking around at the scene. Um Shadow, this big guy, are in the middle of the room fighting. You see Delilah dealing with a different person um but you also have noticed that the chaos of lots of people fighting each other has stopped there are a few of them taking care of ones that you assumed misty had told you about with the tendrils that were connected to the spider mm -hmm. out of the corner of your eye you see a flash of light coming from the bay door that was opened in that flash you see seven divine stepping into the warehouse okay it's more than we uh, got they're just... like cool holy water <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just gave great. for the free drinks <laughs> well i'm gonna spit out the host's throat first is this fiji uh <laughs> and push the uh push the corpse off <laughs> off me and then stand up uh to face these divine i guess yeah uh as they are walking through the bay door you see them cutting down everybody that is near them it doesn't matter if they were connected to the spider or not okay uh Hmm. Silas is going to try and uh keep hold them back with a ward, okay. I guess. Okay, use magic. Uh eleven. Okay. It's going to hold them off for a little bit. Um probably give enough time for people to get out and away from them. Okay. Uh, Where is Pazuzu and Susan? Yeah, Susan. Uh, Pazu <laughs> Susan Pazuzu and, and Susu. <laughs> Pazuzu and Susan are um they are closer to where the front door is, not where the bay door is. So they had started to come through and as uh like people started to like they some people would be like mid punch and then all of a sudden stop and go, What am I doing? So they are taking care of what they can with, like, Delilah and others like that. But they are not close to any of you right now. Silas is straining as these divine, you know, seven divine are pushing hard against this ward. He reaches into the pocket of his waistcoat and throws the Subaru keys to Shadow. Uh, he goes... Just get out of here, Shadow. Just get everybody out of here and get back to Louisville. I'm I'll gonna hold use them off. I'm gonna use my last hold. Okay. To uh have a or to be somewhere I'm needed just in time. Okay. Well, I don't know. Actually, I, it says have a useful object ready. So okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna 
pull out this spherical object. Okay. And Silas says that, mm -hmm. and I just chuck it at him, and it's a device made to capture demonic spirits. I'm going to capture Silas, and I'm going to, if it works, grab the sphere and fucking take off. You're gonna like ball, not a ball, ball. Silas. not a, <laughs> not allow him to sacrifice himself. You care? Because I have a useful object ready. That's all it says. And, or be somewhere I'm needed just in time. It's it's sure. hard to combine them. I don't know. Sure. Uh, but... To throw this because you are also fighting a dude. Mm -hmm. I need you to roll act under pressure. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> and we're going to fill the fucking ground again. Okay. <laughs> Stop yeeting your dice. Well, the first one's a four. Floor die is a five. So nine. And then cool is two. So 11. Okay. So you throw this just as the divine bit break through the, um, the ward, Silas. That's one of them Babylonian demon catchers. It is so funny because you asked earlier if, if Silas is a demon and technically we said yes. Um, before you are captured into the ball, Silas, three of them managed to hit you with holy swords. Jesus. But you are sucked into a void and we will deal with that later. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been so like, yeah, the thing goes to Shadow's hand and he has it and he's like, yeah. uh, fuck. And I just start running. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking book it out of there. So just running away as fast you as start possible. running. The divine are also entering. You watch as Susan and Pazuzu turn around and you, they're a wide smirk goes across both of their faces as you watch them just reach out their hand and snap a finger and they disappear super and shitty <laughs> we'll just keep running wait who uh, disappeared the divine Suzu squared S -s yeah the, the Pazuzu and Susan disappeared the divine is what yes. I did you're, not you're, I like you're, 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 you're you were playing oh, the, the pronoun game in there. I'm so yeah. yeah. You were playing Pazuzu. the pronoun game there. I wasn't sure which yes. one it was we which. They <laughs> yeah. Pazuzu away. and Suzu, Susan, Jesus, Pazuzu and Susan snapped their fingers and the divine disappeared. Okay. Oh, I thought they did. They were like, like they oh, just yeah. fucking no. noped out of there. That is okay. why I asked to clarify <laughs> right. because I was like, wait, no. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, they go, the fungs, that will not hold them. <laughs> it is only temporary but it should give us enough time to get everybody out of here. Where is the rest of your group? I don't know, but I got Silas. The other one's left. I'm fucking out. And uh, I just start running. Where are we going? Running. See you what? later. Uh, All right, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. And I, I'm running. You the see name. everybody. There is FBI agents. There's Harry. Harry's There's... there. They're here? Yeah, Harry is there. When did but they get here? Harry. Who did he they bring? Here for we told them where to meet us. Yeah. Wait, is this where Harry met Sally? Ah. Uh, the whole time. It's where Harry met Susan. You all, you're Scandal. running. Um, Susan takes the mirror that she had been using. Cause I oh did wait did anybody give it back to her? I think we probably left it. Okay. She's going to take the mirror that uh, was left and start looking for Misty uh, and Filbert and the rest of them before seeing that they are at Silas's house. You'd know that place anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and... I think that's where we're going to call it for tonight. Yeah, it seems like a good stopping spot. 
Well, let's try to have it not be six months between now and the yes, final battle, and yeah? I'm going to put some notes down <laughs> just so that I can what? vaguely re I know, I know. Who are you wild. and what have you done with Adam? So if we can swing it, let's try August. 16th, two weeks. Is that possible? Uh Oh, I think God. Oh, let me check my calendar. I literally thought you were like, this shit's going on. The two demons grinned and just fucking took off. <laughs> yeah, me too. No. <laughs> Which they like made their, sense. They like their fights. I was yeah. going to abandon them. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You were I abandoned. I don't they know can yet. Teleport, I can't. I don't know yet about the 16th. I'm going okay. to try, but I okay. am currently scheduled. I currently am holding those days for work, and I'm waiting to find out if I'm actually working those days. I love not knowing two weeks what in about, advance if I'm working. What about the 23rd, just in case? <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. 30th? Also. I'll be at Dragon Con on 30th. God damn yes. it. That's right. Oh, I have a wedding. Never mind. Oopsies. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I, I wish, man. I'm sad. Like. I don't know if you can see this, but you see those yeah. boards of blue? Those yeah. are days that I'm that are currently being held for work. Well, let's let's see if we can try and meet at least once in August at any point to try and finish everything because we are here. We're so baby. close. We're so yeah. close. Um, like if if people are willing to start a little bit later, the 16th might work for me. But like we would have to start like right now. I, the Grundy was the only very, one I'm really very worried late about. For all the yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do that to you, buddy. The time buddy. is two twenty-four a.m. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but we like, can talk about this offline. We'll figure it out. I will. Here's the thing. I will let you know as yeah, soon as I know if I'm stream. working that day. Sure, sure. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Um, it's here. We're in it. It's happening. It's the final uh, countdown. I hope that this has been as much of an enjoyable ride as it has been for me. Um, I love you all so much. And I guess we'll see you for the finale. Yep. In an indeterminate amount of time at this point. Indeterminate <laughs> amount of time. Go to Discord if you're not in our Discord. This year at least. Halfway <laughs> to Discord. And uh, we will keep the discord updated when the finale is going to air yep thank you everybody have a good night bye, Bye. 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 Bye.